Hey, historians, welcome back to another great episode of the Historically Haunted Vodcast right here, uh, right on the Facebook page. I do it myself right uh, every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. I get some great guests tonight, just like every other night. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Don't forget to like the page, too. Um, real quick, the weekend before Halloween, that Tuesday before Halloween, I have Jeff Mudgett, who is the great-great-grandson of uh, America's first documented serial killer, H.H. H. Holmes, Howard Herman Mudgett. Um, so I have him on Tuesday, so I'm looking forward to that. But tonight we have some special guests, just like anything else. They're, they're grandsons and granddaughters of fucking people, too, so they're just as good. Um, I have Rosie. Uh, Rosie is a co-owner and the co-founder of the Night Terror Collection. Um, she's also the host of two shows. That's right, too. She's a hardworking fucking chick. The Spectral Sailor and Southern Girl Terra, like tarot cards, tarot, tarot cards. Um, so Nick Mule. I think I said that right. She just told me, but I'm stoned, so I forgot. I've been friends with this fucking cat for a while. He's a, kind of a weird dude, which is cool because I'm weird too. He's into a lot of stuff that goes bump in the night. He's into the horror stuff because he's a horror writer. He's a horror film director. He's a um, um, also he he he. Uh, how can I say this? Like he does a podcast too, but he's also just very much in his own world. I guess we're gonna fucking dissect this kid's brain. So let's bring in Nick the motherfucking Mule. And there is Rosie. What is up, my friends? Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Morning, good. We got some more people. Uh, should we get some more of your friends checking in a little bit? But for now, um, we're just gonna wing it and go right to it. As people are checking in, we got a couple people viewing. Hey, guys, don't forget to hit those questions right in the comment section. Um, and of course, you can read the information about these crazy cats on the bottom of the screen. So let's talk. Uh, let's late. Let's do ladies first. R Rosie, um, how long have you been doing your shows? Did you make them both yourself? The Southern Girl Tarot Show hasn't been going very long, but I've been doing tarot card readings for quite a while. Dawn, who's going to join us later, wanted to do a tarot card show, and we both had done live tarot card readings on some other venues before, and so we started doing that show about four months ago, I believe. Uh, you can find it on um, Things Network, where a lot of Nick's stuff is um, showing, at, and you can also find it on the Temple of Phoenix Network. Um, and then the Spectral Sailor has been on since it was a year in May. So oh, a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see that crazy creep show shit that he does. That's cool in that network. Um, so so uh, I'm going to jump right into that too, Nick, real quick. But I got to ask you, uh, Rosie, how long have you been into tarot cards? How long tarot cards? How long have you been uh, dabbling or, or I guess it's just learning with them? Tarot cards, I started actually using them in high school, and I'm 41, so at least 20 years I've done tarot cards. Wow. Yeah. Jeffrey, uh, Jeremy York's chiming Jeremy, in. Jeremy, good to see you. Hi, everybody, Jeremy says. Also, uh, Betsy Brown says hi to Adam. Hi, Nick. Hey, Rosie. Betsy's a good hey, supporter. Um, she, she sells merchandise and, and hangs out with the searchers, Shane Pittman, and them a lot. There's a lot of touring with them. She's a great, great supporter in the field. Um, so, wow, so this has kind of been in your livelihood, Rosie. You've kind of been uh, dabbling into the witchcraft, uh, so to speak, for a long, long time. Speaking of witches, that's my girl, Heather. Hi. I mean, witch. That's my girl. Is she might have uh, to Rosie. Maybe send her a friend request. She does the Witch and Life Guide show every Wednesday. It's uh, audio only, but it's a radio show on Paranormal King Radio Network. And she's always looking for witchy girls to talk spells and crystals. and. Yeah, I love that stuff. All that <laughs> shit. So, um, so let's talk to the man. Um, Nick, we feel like we've been kind of playing tag, getting back and forth. I know you're a busy cat, but I finally got you, motherfucker, for like an hour. Um, how long have you been in this field, brother? I've heard your name for a while, and like I said, I've followed you. I think we've been friends for almost two years, something like that. We don't really talk a super lot, but we're into the same shit, man. How long have yeah. you been into this stuff? I've actually been in it now for 17 years, since I was 12. So it's been it's been quite a ride. Of course, as we're getting close to the end of the year, soon to be 18 years, so it's mm -hmm. been... It's been quite a it's been quite a life. I tell you, um, there's uh, and I I don't try to be mean, but there's the weekend warriors, which is fine. But then there's the cats like us three, um, pretty much everybody in chat that live this shit. If we're not on an investigation, we're researching the next one, or we're figuring out the new horror movie, or we're figuring out uh, uh, you know whatever. I mean, it, we really it, it's a livelihood. I think is that you agree, both of you? Yes. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. There's some hard, I feel like we're hardcore. I feel like we're the real deal. I feel like that's when you, you know, when 90% of your posts are, are uh, macabre and <laughs> paranormal. You can't ever know everything. So you can always be like on a quest, you know? 
I love that. See, I, you guys haven't been friends with me long. Well, you have. Uh, Nick uh, Nick hasn't. I mean, you haven't. But uh, I have a YouTube channel, Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter, and that's my thing. I I, hey, John. I, I, I do a lot of uh, John Huntington, Mr. Huntington. He was one of my guests not too long ago. He lives next to me in Maine. Um, I do a lot of movie sites. I do a lot of uh, uh, murder sites. I do uh, uh, places where serial killers are buried in their victims. And I do it on my YouTube channel. I do a lot of Stephen King. I live in Maine. I've been to the Pet Cemetery house. I lay in the road where Gage oh, yeah. get hit by the truck. And, wow. uh, and all that shit. Yeah, I've been I've been to um, if you look recently, I went to uh, the cemetery there where they dug up Gage's body, where Stephen King was the reverend and all that shit. I mean, I live a half hour away from Stephen King's house. I go every morning. So wow, until, I get, awesome. until I get the cops called on me, I'm going to have him on my fucking show. But, that's, <laughs> but I mean, but that's it, because even though it's not paranormal, kind of like this is kind of going towards Nick. I don't know how Rosie you must be into horror movie shit, but Nick, oh, you're yeah. very much into that. <laughs> oh, I know Rosie is. Rosie is yeah. Too. I got so some I monsters. Think, uh, yes. Yeah. That's cool. Who's your favorite monster? Horror Rosie? movies. Who's my favorite monster? If I had to pick one, I guess probably like, can I pick two? A male and a female? Yeah, absolutely. Because I love can. Wolfman, like the original Wolfman, yeah, but I also love the oh. Bride of Frankenstein a lot too. Yes. Love her. I believe that actually rated higher than Frankenstein, if I if I remember right. The Bride did. She was terrifying, man. That's yeah. Yeah. In the original Wolfman's killer. Um, Hell hath no fury like a woman that's stitched and scorned. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. She was the first. Yeah, she was. She kind of probably. I think she gave inspiration to Tim Burton's uh, Corpse Bride. Probably, I would think. Yeah, I would be so or the uh, Sally character. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. true. <laughs> Nick, what about you? What's your go-to? You seem like a Freddy type guy, or possibly fucking Hellraiser. <laughs> <laughs> and head maybe okay so man that's a, <laughs> see for me it's a tougher question because i got i just got so many of them but i <laughs> it's like your kids you can't pick one favorite i love them all equally yeah, yeah. <laughs> well i mean i could say for now because it does switch from time to time and um i guess i'll probably say that one of my favorites would have to be uh Oh man, um, <laughs> it would probably have to be actually Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yes, Ed Gein's Ed Gein's uh, on steroids. <laughs> I saw a lot of that stuff this weekend at the convention we were at. There was a lot of Leatherface. Oh, you went to a horror convention or something? I saw it that. Was, it was a paranormal and a. Uh, Psychic Medium Festival, like together. Oh. But there was a lot of um, fans there that showed up that were, you know, horror genre interested in the horror genre and stuff, or yeah. paranormal stuff. That's really cool. Um, where, where? I'm gonna ask some questions. Everybody in chat, say hi. Feel free to ask some questions, guys. Uh, I'm gonna ask them because I'm fucking. I got ADHD and I'm fucking stoned and I get two beers in me, me so it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what's 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 y'all's bucket list one at a time? Uh, we'll go America and then we'll go anywhere outside of America. Like, give me two places you got to see before you kick the bucket. I'll let him go first. Oh <laughs> man, what a lady! <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably tell, I know, so he was probably gonna be like, Man, that's a hard decision. It's a hard decision, too. But a well, bucket are, list can be more than one place, so you don't have to only make one decision. You can give me a couple, dude. There's no, it's not like a <laughs> when you get it, you know, just but give me a couple. Is it like Gettysburg, Salem? Have you been to Maine yet? You know, New Orleans? I've been to New Orleans, but surprisingly, I have not been to Salem yet. But I, I will I'll be honest. I mean, two of those locations you mentioned, Salem and Gettysburg, are among two of the locations I've yet to have gone. I've been trying to go for years. So it's definitely been on my, it's actually, in fact, both of them have been on my bucket list during, since during my early years of paranormal investigating while I was in high school. So no shit. Yeah. it's been, uh, You have been doing this a fucking while. while, kid. Holy shit, son. Yeah. No shit. You're fucking, wow. You've seen some shit, brother. Yeah. That's a, yeah. I mean, but you've never been to Gettysburg. Ah, oh. <laughs> I mean, some places are haunted, but that whole town is haunted. Yeah. There's so many fucking deaths. And then Jenny Wade got killed making bread by, by a stray bullet in her house. And the Jenny Wade house, you can visit the, the hole in the door from the bullet is still there. Oh, my God. It's, uh, phew, get goosebumps, motherfucker. I tell you that. What about uh, overseas? You must like castles and shit. Latin oh, yeah. There's, there's a ton of them. Uh, 
there's actually one I've been showing interest of. It's called the, um, it's actually located in Scotland. Um, the show, in fact, I was just watching this just last night. It was, um, I, I can't remember exactly where in Scotland, but it's called Dryborough Abbey. That's where there's the story of the Grey Lady of Dryborough Abbey. And um, I don't know if you remember this, again, back to my early years of, st of studying the paranormal, of course, I watched a lot of the old travel channel shows, you know, the pre-Ghost Adventure shows. Like, <laughs> yeah. um, um, I don't know if you guys remember that show, Haunted Hotels, uh, from the early 2000s. Yeah. yeah. Well, first off, someone, I don't know who it was, but I call, I call him a legend for it. He uploaded several of the episodes. They're now available on YouTube. So if you guys are looking for those old-fashioned shows, someone uploaded them. And I fucking love YouTube. I get all my info from YouTube. I get all my documents. I may cut you off, but if you want really quick and easy documentaries or how to get somewhere or whatever, you follow someone else, and it's like, son of a bitch. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> YouTube's taught me more than my eighth grade teachers all combined. Right. But if you look at some of these shows, they also they show you locations that really nobody pays attention to anymore. And this is one of those locations that no one really talks about. And I look at a place like that. I think, you know, that actually would be a really cool place to investigate. So that's cool. Well, we're gonna definitely... bring in the we're gonna bring in the guy with the face. We're gonna bring in the money maker here. We're gonna bring Mister <laughs> Don. Don, what's up, Don? I saw you earlier. I saw one of the old videos, and you had that Jaws poster, and that fucking guy got me hard real quick. I'm like, I gotta get him on my show too. <laughs> um, that's my one of my bucket lists, real quick. God, pleasure to meet you, Don. I'm not gonna be rude. Welcome to Historically Haunted Show. Thank um, you, Don. Thank you so much, everybody. I should have my info up, but I, like I said, I'm kind of stoned. Give me a second. Go on, tell us about. No, let me do it. I'm the host. There uh, <laughs> we go. Dawn. Ah, shit. Tell us about yourself, Dawn. I can't find your info. Uh, about about uh, just myself or my uh, YouTube or what? what yeah, do you everything, brother. Uh, what do you do? You co-host a show with, with Nick, correct? Yes, I co-host uh, the Fear Fans podcast. Uh, we're about to air our eleventh uh, episode tonight at uh, eight thirty, uh -huh. and. Uh, yeah, we started this like a uh, day after Fourth of July. <laughs> so, oh, and, uh, very cool! Uh, very oh, yeah. cool! Very cool! I watch a couple of episodes because I mean, like I said, I do this shit too, and it's always good to see the competition. No, just kidding. We're all in it together. <laughs> um, it's always good to, you know, what I mean, steal ideas from people and shit. Real quick, uh, my girl Heather's saying that. Um, hey, oh yes, Salem. We've been between both of us. We've been That's out forty so times. Salem's amazing in November through August. Go in October, you're looking at about forty to fifty thousand people per day. Huh. I, ain't, I ain't went in line for fucking hocus pocus fucking bubble gums. Fuck that. <laughs> so I'll go the rest of the year. You know what I mean? But it's worth it going. Um, apologize ahead of time if I missed the intro. What experiences has either one of you had regarding the paranormal? We'll get to that question in a minute, Betsy. Thank you so yeah. much. We're gonna say, speaking of ADHD, let's go there and then come back. <laughs> I know. I'm. Uh, trust me. I know. That's why I say that. I don't know how I'm still doing the show because I get no con no fucking rhythm. Uh, Dawn, brother. Um, yeah. So, so, so this show that you guys have been doing together, you guys have been doing this together, uh, both hosting and co-hosting the whole time, both you and Nick. Yeah. Oh yeah. How oh, do you yeah. guys find your 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 um, guest? Who do you guys do you guys handpick someone who's doing something? You're like, hey, he looks cool, Rosie. Yeah, yeah. We I'm just, waving uh, at everybody that's like. Saying, oh, I thought you like. I gotta, I gotta go at him. I gotta go at him. Hi. Uh, go <laughs> yes, everybody says hi, but uh, yes, absolutely. Go ahead, Don. Uh, yes, uh, we so, so occasionally we would have uh, people join us. Uh, we've had uh, Jeremy York uh, joining us on a few episodes. Uh, we've had uh, let's see, uh, let's see. L last uh, last week uh, when we uh, looked into a creep show, uh, yeah, because you know movie's 40th anniversary. We uh, had um, let's let's see who who do we have. We had um, Adam uh, Adam joining us, and uh, let's see. We had Adam. Was it the Happy old TV. creep show or the new creep show? The, the old one, the, the original one from 1982. Yeah. Okay. Stephen King turns the grass when he leaves. Is that a meteor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and Nick, crazy enough, uh, we actually, it just so happens we were had aired that episode just a day before Stephen King's 75th birthday. Really? Oh, yeah. Cool. How, How crazy that? is that? Wow. Check that out. <laughs> the fucking King, dude. I don't know if you're, I know you're not familiar, Don. I'm fairly new friends with you. And this isn't about me, but I want to tell you real quick that I do my own Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter, my YouTube channel. And I'm right now, dude, I've been like on a fucking, because I just moved to Bangor, Maine. Like three months ago, because oh, I lived wow. in Southern Maine. Oh, dude, I went to the the mill and graveyard shift for the giant rats and shit. I went to the mm -hmm. mill. It's still there in Harmony, Maine. I got a video on that. I went to Bangor uh, Airport with the Langlaniers. Lang Langlaniers was filming. Langlaniers. Langlaniers. Yeah. I always get that wrong. 
Um, I went to the his childhood home at Durham. I went to the same high school as him. I went to Lisbon High School. There's a big plaque in my high school about him. Oh, and, man. Uh, oh, yeah, man. I've been to his house. And that Stephen King's my fucking jam, dude. I go to all his. I went to the Pet Cemetery house in Hancock. And then last week, I got to show you guys. I'm going to brag a little bit. All right. Let's see. I met Miko. Oh, man. Check that out. What, dude, Adam, I want to play with you. <laughs> oh, That's awesome. Pinhead. Mike Myers, Mike, oh. a couple chicks, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I am. Um, I love so oh, yeah, dude, I, I have much respect because Stephen King, he's a lot of what I do as a historian, ghost hunter, especially being in Maine. I grew up, saw my first death when I was nine, and going to the same high school as him, believing in monsters and UFOs, brother. We're all cut from the same cloth. I loved your fucking show, and I'm glad we're friends now, Don. Uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad, too. Yeah, like, yeah, I, like, I, I do my best with it with the show. Yeah, like, I just... Yeah, you know, love her, and I saw this network, and I'm thinking, and I told Nick, hey, like, what, what if we uh, had like uh, a podcast that just focuses solely on her? You know, the, um, the entertainment world for her. I'm gonna share the fuck out of that because I love it. <laughs> you guys feed off each other. You and Nick get a lot of yeah. info between you, a lot of shit. Um, so that's cool. Um, we're right in the middle of bucket list, and we're on to Rosie, I believe, more or less. Rosie, what about you? What for as far as USA and other country? Give me a couple of each for USA. Some of the places that I really want to go that are on my bucket list are Alcatraz. I have never been there. I never hear that. That's Alcatraz. cool. Huh? Yes, California. No one ever says Alcatraz. Not Alcatraz. really. That's another one. Uh, Penhurst Asylum is at the very top of my bucket list. Mm-hmm. Um, Lizzie Borden houses, the two Lizzie Borden houses, and Salem. I haven't been to Salem, and I want to just go all over Salem. Man, none of you fucking guys have been to my neck of the woods. You come down here. I'll show you Stephen King's house. I'll show you where the witches were hung. I've done so much research. I know exactly where it is. I know where one of the graves is. I'll bring you to fucking Hubie Halloween filming sites. Adam Sandler. I've been to a bunch of those. Shit. You guys come down to New England. I love me and Heather. will take you guys out, get you some clam cakes and a fucking... I like seafood. Any kind of seafood. Yeah. So Heather, you listening? Let's see what she write. Doesn't sound awesome with this fancy mic. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> yes. We call Heather's yes, Dawn. Well, Dawn's a fucking pro, Heather. I got yeah, one too. I, I just I, don't get it hooked I up. I didn't You just can't see it. <laughs> I'm I'm Dawn. I am Dawn. Sometimes you can, but I'm like, does this like weird or dorky with my face in my mic? And then I can be rosy. So I'm like, I'll just push it back. <laughs> yeah. I do yeah, I, have a mic like that too, but I'm actually see. I have kind of two studios. I'm actually. In the basement studio, but the one with the microphone. Like, you look like upstairs. an acid trip right now. You're like 3D. You're like ghostly looking. I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I always am with the green screen. The fuck was in that peanut butter I had earlier? Uh, Rosie, so, Ro- so Rosie, you're shooting for East Coast then. You're shooting for kind of Lizzie, Salem. Sounds like I spent and me and one Heather's more place too. There's a oh, lighthouse, a Florida lighthouse. I can't remember. Oh, St. Augustine. Place. Yes, it has yeah. always been at the very top of my bucket list. And I had a trip planned to go there right before COVID started. And we had a timeshare and we had paid for the timeshare and everything. And then we couldn't go because COVID started. <laughs> so, uh, COVID yeah, fucked everything up. Go, but I'm still planning to go there sometime. I, I, uh, not to cut you off, but me and my buddy drove all the way to Iowa to go to the Axe Murder House uh, in Vilisca. Yeah. Vilisca. And, yeah, Vilisca. And Corona happened. So we stayed in the yeah. hotel in the hot tub for seven yeah. days and went back to Maine. Uh, snuck, a, snuck a run on the Gettysburg battle she, uh, uh, yard at night. Not to rub it in, Nick. I know you want to go to Gettysburg, but cocksucker, yeah. that fucking place is on fire. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Gettysburg, Gettysburg has a lot of history to it. Dawn, you ain't shitting, brother. Um, Rosie, overseas, are you, uh, what do you want, like an Italian-type girl? I can see almost in, like, even uh, Germany. Um, I've been to Germany twice. I have been to Greece five times. Wow. I've been to London and I've been to Paris. <laughs> Not ghost hunting ever at any of those places. The catacombs. Um, yeah, I would oh, like to go man. there. Romania. I would really like to go to Romania. I've met Dracula. people from Romania that were in Greece. Like they lived there at the time and they, were, they just told me about all these different cool places to go in Romania and Dracula's castle and stuff. And like the Lugaru, you know, um, and I'd like to go to London again to actually get to go and like check out like the local folklore or to visit where they did the American Werewolf in London movie. And then Scotland oh. or New Zealand, because my background is actually Scottish in New Zealand and Irish. Yes. 
there's so much history. I mean, we look back like St. Augustine, right? People say uh, Plymouth Rock 1620, St. Augustine 1615. Uh, believe it or not, it's actually older. But you look at fucking Europe and they're like, 1620? How about 1200? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> 1100 shit! Witches! They were born here! Fuck you! So it is Scotland. Yeah. Shit. The, the Banshees and the castles. I'm part Italian. You get the Vampire Island in Italy where they put bricks in people's mouths and they killed them because they thought they were fucking vampires. Check this beer out. Yeah! Oh, 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 I needed oh, to yeah. check. check, check you might have to like, tell me that again. The island... There's cool. an island off I, would buy that. I don't drink a lot, but if it was that kind of drink, I'd buy it. <laughs> it's, it's like a coffee chocolate stout, and it's made by Allagash. It's Maine's oldest brewery. I took a tour of the plant. Um, and Allagash is where they had the UFO abduction happen in Maine, the Allagash, which is at the end of um, what's that trail the Indians walk from fucking... The Trail of Tears. Yeah, what's the, the trail name of it? Tears. What's the real name of it, though? It's, it's oh, um, that was the, Appalachian uh, Trail. Appalachian Trail. Yeah. Oh, right. they, 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 where I live too. they walked it from like Carolina to Maine. It ends in or starts in Maine, so to speak, right at this fucking Allagash where the aliens and I've been to Betty yeah. and Barney Hill's abduction site. I've been to their yes. graves. Oh yeah, brother. Um all right, Dawn, the face, the man with the fucking mic. Um, What's your bucket list, dude? Let's hear you talk a little bit. You come in late. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, uh, the other guest just told me she just came. Oh, here yeah. she is. I heard a, I heard a boop oh, noise on. or something. What's up, Dawn? <laughs> Dawn and Dawn. Dawn with a W. What's going on? Welcome to Historically <laughs> Haunted Podcast. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I appreciate it. Hello. Oh. I, yeah. um, we're we're going to finish Dawn with a O. <laughs> his <laughs> his uh, stuff, and then we'll get right to you, because I want to get to his uh, um, shit. So, so what's your bucket list, dude? Where, where haven't you been in America yet? Where haven't I been in America? Oh man, I've been. I haven't been to. Uh, I haven't been to Maine yet. I haven't been to. Uh, let's see. I haven't been to. Let's see. Uh, certain parts of California, and let's see. I like. I I have seen uh, Alcatraz, but I have actually have have not actually been on that island because I know that you need special permission to go there. But uh, yeah, yeah, all I saw was just from a distance. And from uh, San Francisco, and that's it. No shit. But, uh, oh yeah. So but, are you uh, more? See. I mean, are you more like? I mean, are, are you straight movies? Do you deal with paranormal at all? Is it straight horror movies and traveling, or do you do a little bit of the investigating? I'm just curious. I've done a little bit. I have done a little bit of investigating with Nick in the past. Uh, oh, very yeah, cool. We have, very cool. Oh yeah, we've gone to uh, the prison where they've held uh, John Dillinger. Yeah, when he made that Ooh. escape. Yeah. Old count, uh, old Lake County Jail, which of course that's what Jeremy was talking about briefly yeah. about trying to get Rosie to the uh, old Lake County Jail. Yes, uh, Dillinger oh, Escape yeah. Plan, one of my favorite metal bands, math metal. <laughs> yep, I and uh, that is. <laughs> let's see, we, we went to Ohio, the uh, state reformatory where they filmed Shawshank Redemption, and yep. uh, right. we, we, we did investigate one house nearby there. Uh, what was it, Nick? That was the uh, the Gill House. Gill House, yes, that's the one. Which, by the way, they want us back. I'd be glad uh, to. You, you know know, even... I, I know a lot of shit, but I've never heard of that. What's the deal with the Gill House? G-I-L-L? Yeah. What's so? It's Don't about me. a half hour outside of uh, out, outside of Mansfield, so it's not terribly far. Um, it was owned by the uh, the Gill family, and see, it's it's been a long time since I've heard the story of it because it was about a year ago that we went. Although I will tell you this, though, interestingly, because Don and I, we both live in Chicago, and we found out that Fuckers. some of the materials, some of the materials for the Gill House is cons- Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Been a lot of tears through the years being a Bears fan. Holy fuck. Especially in Maine. <laughs> with these rotten patriots and Tom fucking Brady. Oh, anyway, go ahead before I puke. Well, what's kind of interesting is that part of the Gill House's construction, like some of the material materials actually did come from Chicago to wow. help with the house's construction. So it's almost like we kind of had a connection with that house. That's cool. Um, there was supposedly a rumor that, I guess, if I'm correct, again, it's been a while, but supposedly that one of the Gill family members was murdered in that house, although we later found out that, indeed, a few members of the Gill family actually did die, but we, this so-called murder never really happened. As I would put it, there may have been somebody murdered there, but it's not them. So, um, but the activity that we had there was, was really interesting. Um, 
but not only do we just have, of course, the usual paranormal activity, uh, we also had, and Don, I'm getting right to it already, is uh, <laughs> when we had this bat that just kept swooping down on us throughout. Yeah, the- <laughs> yeah the place had bats. I tell you, rabies with wings. Yeah, oh. Don, you tell your side about what happened. <laughs> Yeah, bat came in and uh, kept uh, swooping down at us. And uh, there was actually one part point where it was uh, like uh, flying around a uh, chandelier. Yeah. We, we got we got it on, we got it like all we filmed it. We got it we all on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. And then, and th- yeah, like we filmed like me getting close, close to the room, and then it just zoomed right past my face. Yeah, you said the awesome. wing hit. It, he said he said awesome. the wing hit your face a little bit, right? The wing, just, the wing grazed me a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's that's the thing. The they're they're always after the, the the bugs that are around you. So if they're going after all the mosquitoes, hey, yeah. I'm all for it. Yeah, it was during the true. spring that we want. They definitely don't want us. They yeah, they, you're right. They don't. Um, so we got Dawn Marie Kelsch. Did I say that right? Um, she's the host of. I didn't even give her a chance to finish. Did I say that right? Kelch. Yeah. Awesome. Um, she is the host of uh, the Alien Talk, which is right up my alley, as well as co-host of the Southern Girl uh, Terror, a tarot. Yeah, Heather, don't punch me. <laughs> I always see it, and the Frenchman in me, I try to pronounce it right. The you know what I mean. Um, so welcome aboard. I'm glad you could join us tonight. A bunch of new friends and new faces, which is good. I always try to get friends of mine on my show, and, and I've been friends with Nick for a while. But he told me he had some friends of his, which is hey man, just like cheers. Your friends of his, your friends of mine. Cheers to you. Um, yeah. So how did you guys all meet, uh, Dawn? How did you get to meet these fine folks? Um, well, I we met, went we... to Waverly together. Uh, um, Waverly, uh, Waverly is that in Indiana or no, Ohio? Kentucky. Just in Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, I should know. Yeah, I was close. Yeah, no Rosie shit. was my roommate. We shared a, a hotel room. We shared a bed together, okay? Yeah, we shared a bed. <laughs> yeah. Everything goes on this show, guys. Trust me, that helps the ratings. Yeah. Good Who's good got five new viewers? <laughs> <laughs> well, is that a sleep right. on the couch bed with Jason? And she was like, nah, I think I'll sleep with Rosie. <laughs> I'll sleep with Rosie. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I sleep with my girlfriend's bulldog. Who gives a shit? You got to sleep, you got to sleep, right? Now we're li- we're like sisters. Yeah, she, we have we have like a really good connection. Um, That's awesome. Like best friends. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you, Jill. Shout out to you. Yeah, I want to say hi to Jill Wait. and Heather. Good day. I see you, Jill. She's actually one of our most uh, loyal fans on our network who watches a lot of these yeah, shows. I've seen yeah, the of course, before, obviously. I yeah, she, of course, as I would expect, of course, she's following you now, too, Adam. So, uh, oh, that's killer. Adam. Like I said, I don't mean to toot my own horn. Uh, I know you guys don't know a lot about me, but I, I actually, I, I do talk a lot, and that's why I get two fucking shows a week, and I still have enough time. But, like, yeah, man, I died in a car accident for like a half a minute, uh, two years ago, and I really? uh, came out of it. Yeah, yeah. I, got hit, I got hit head on. They never found the guy that did it. And the car that I had was bequeathed to me when my mom died the year before. Uh, unfortunately. So yeah, so I got fucked out of that deal. And ever since then, man, I vowed to stay true and to be real. And I am who I am. And I don't give a shit. I talked to Tony Spera. I'm actually part of the Warren Legacy Foundation. I'm the historian for the New England branch. That's awesome. Um, it's run by uh, and Lorraine. Well, it was run by Lorraine Warren, but now it's run by her grandson, Chris McKinnell. So I'm in that group. And I just, I still, I smoke my weed. I'm just myself. And if no one wants me, peace out. So I'm glad all of you um, came on my show because um, you're all true and real people, and I don't want phony fucking people. I wrote a book. Re- I wrote a book. Read my book. Don't ask me questions. Buy my book. I've had that dude, and I've cut motherfuckers out of my life. I don't care if they're on paranormal nine one one. I block fucking people. <laughs> Not trying to be about me, but anyway, you guys are killer. Wow, Adam, Adam I was in the, I was so, in a real bad car accident yeah. in ninety seven. I was in a coma for a month. Wow, Ooh, man. And wow. I came out of my coma on my twenty fifth birthday. And I learned a lot of things when I was in my coma, actually. You do? And you got to be careful who you talk to about that. Yes. There we go. They'll another, actually think you're nuts. Uh, but, another um, member of mine in the Warren Legacy. They will. And the thing is, like, I don't know about you, and I wasn't in a coma that long. I was definitely out for a couple hours. Do you remember anything? Your brain won't let you, will it? Um, I remember things as I'm supposed to remember things. Um, my accident was 25 years ago. 
and um yeah i'm 50 now <laughs> and but i admit it because uh you know i'm lucky to be here yeah. i had the best neurosurgeon in the midwest and i went in to see him Hi, Fred. the last the last time i was to visit him and he said there's my miracle child he retired right after Amen. right after um right after my accident i was one of his last patients and um he told me that when my mom wheeled me in i had to learn how to walk talk take care of myself Holy shit. and i was not gonna stop as soon as the doctors told me i couldn't do something i um i did i proved him wrong i did it i had wow. my kids six six weeks after the car accident and they told me i probably couldn't handle handle them have them back six weeks or six months to a year um and i had them six i had them six weeks um as as far as your question goes i i remember things when i'm supposed to i i remember sounds about right i yeah. remember um yeah. i thought i was in my apartment taking care of my kids but I never seen them. And there was a knock at my door. I lived in a basement apartment and there was a knock at the door and I opened the door and um, it was my grandmother who had just passed away. Um, my son was a year and a half old and I know was almost, almost, almost two years and nine months old. And she had passed away when he was um, six months old. And I opened the door and I said, Grandma, what are you doing here? And she said, you're fine, come with me. And I turned around and looked back at my apartment and she said, Dom Marie, they're not here. You know, you know that. Wow. And um, I said, no, Grandma, I want you to see, I want you to see them. And she says, I've seen them. They're with, they're with their dad. They're fine, they're safe. And she said, come with me. And right behind her, there was this brilliant bright light. And she led me up to um, a beautiful garden. And there was every color in the rainbow, but a color I had never seen before. And, and it was almost between, it was between a purple and a maroon. And, and that's the best I can explain it. But the colors looked like they were breathing, like they were, like they were alive. And it, wow. was like, and it was like breathing in love. And that's the best way I can explain it. And, wow. I, and I was out for a month and it felt like I was, it felt like I was there for that. And that's all I remember. And it felt like I was there for probably six minutes. If that, and I was. This is all during your coma. This is you out in fucking La La Land, right? Yeah. Wow. And it felt like I was there for six minutes and I was out for 30 days. Holy fucking wow. shit. Man. It's almost like a hey. purgatory of sorts, kind of. I mean, it's That's almost what I was like thinking exactly the same thing. And the color, even when she said the color, I had a vision of it. So and it I. made me think the word yeah. purgatory. Like I felt the color she was talking about. And I felt what she was talking about. I thought in my mind, though, like limbo or purgatory. No, 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 Rosie, because I heard it. Yeah, I was thinking limbo. Now, oh, what yeah, I what think I'm, about what I what I learned about purgatory is, okay, we're in hell. Hell on earth. Hell on earth is true. We're in hell. This is the hardest um, dimension. What what I would call a dimension. It, it 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 is so hard to come here, and we come here to learn lessons for God, because God has could never go in human form. My mom would always say that we're here to learn lessons and to report back to him. Yes. He can't, come, he can't come here, so he wants us to know it's like a playground. Like my girlfriend, Heather, um, Heather Witching Kim and she you kind of answered a question, maybe. She says, Dawn, do you have stronger abilities after your rehab time? Well, I guess you didn't know, because you're talking about in your coma. So do you think that helped did it give you abilities? Did you get abilities because of that episode, you think? I okay. feel like I'm sensitive to shit now. I go by a stranger on a park bench, and I cry for two days, and I can't eat. Okay. I, 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 um, abilities run in my family. I was going to say, I think she's always had them. My oh, mom, my oh, mom, shit. 
my mom is a very, very gifted psychic. I have always grown up and I always knew things that I shouldn't know. Now it has gotten stronger. And the more I, any, every, everybody has abilities. Yep, I believe it's, that. And, and it's like Don's a muscle. shaking his head. I think he agrees, Don. Yep, totally. I, I agree. It's all about unlocking it and trying to figure out how. Yeah, I agree, Don. Uh, the other it's, Don. Like, it's like a muscle. Yeah. And the more you exercise that muscle, the stronger it gets. Yeah. Yeah. And the more I remember things, that, and the more that I, when I'm supposed to, the stronger, and the more I exercise it with meditation, and especially meditation and self-reflection and more I get to know my shadow self, <clears throat> the stronger it gets. I'm going to stop you right there real quick because I want to go around real quick and ask everybody, what do you do for protection in situations? Even if you're not ghost hunting, everyday protection, do you have, uh, all of you, I want to ask you all, we'll start with Dawn, D-A-W-N. Do you, do you believe in, in smudging sage? Do you have crosses, crucifixions? Do you have gems? Do you knock uh, on wood? Well, you know all what I mean? Of the, all of the above. Yeah. All, all of, the, of above. the above. You're all shaking your head, so I guess yeah, that's kind I got of a lot of that, Nick? too. Yeah? Yep. I mean, that's kind of in our nature, and I think, Dawn, with the W is right, if you kind of embrace it, we're all meant to go on that path. We really are. No one, We all get the third eye, dude. We're all, to an extent, got abilities. We just got to find it. You just got to be willing and open to it. I mean, Rosie's got abilities just as much as, 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 as uh, Nick or Dawn, I would think. Um, but some people partake in that more, I guess, or I don't know. You know what I mean? Focus on that more. Right, right. I had a good experience this weekend with that. <laughs> I got people not. coming to me and, and telling me things and and telling me they saw my aura and what colors it was because I was at a psychic medium convention and um, one lady said I had a blue and yellow aura and I said, you know what? I can feel that. That's exactly like the colors that I feel. And then another lady was a witch, like an older witch, and she told me to be uh, more confident in who I am because I needed to know that I'm exactly who I think I am. And I was just like shocked, like I almost fell over. <laughs> yeah, that's a mind fuck. <clears throat> I was like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Give her what you wish for, right? She's like, well. Yeah. I think, like you said, embracing or being uh, open to it is the key, like to most people. Like anybody in the world can have some kind of sensitive ability, but they have to believe that they do and know that they do and trust that they do first. Yeah. Um, Crystal uh, Hill, I have a traumatic brain injury and I've always had my gifts, but my gifts intensified after I lost the left side of my head. After I lost the left side of my head. Whoa. Uh, Jeez. That can't be right. Yeah. If that's the crystal I'm thinking about, she's deaf and she's a paranormal investigator in Massachusetts. So that's the same one. I met her at the Warren Con last year. Uh, that may be her. Holy shit, that's crazy. Um, psychic conventions where people just approach you and tell you that the message is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happened a lot. Yes, it is crystal. Oh, Crystal, you're oh, awesome. Oh, that's also oh, that's why you're you're obviously deaf. I didn't know that. I you're an amazing person, Crystal. Uh, you were nothing but a joy, and I met you. You have great abilities, and I'm so sorry. That's what happened. I never wanted to inquire and impose, but I'm so sorry you went through that. Um, <laughs> not me. You always say that. Oh, fuck. It's another crystal. It's the other one. That's right. I always say that. All right, shit, whatever. It's the other crystal. You guys going to stop changing your name so much or having fucking the weird name. <laughs> I'm smoking weed. I've hard enough to concentrate on my own name half the time. So, so let's get into it, man. Let's let's see what are you guys doing for the future. You guys have an investigation all together. You guys, where do you guys all live? You guys right in the same fucking sandlot neighborhood or what? You guys meet for sandwiches every day. Like, <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> I know one's from Ireland, but she's not here yet. Yeah, uh, I just reached out to Jenny. I haven't heard from. She actually did tell me that. Um, in Rosie and Dawn, I don't know if you heard. I guess she has some flu or something. She said oh. she's not feeling so good. So, oh, like a flu. We, she we said, even though she said she was sick, she said that she was going to still try to make it on. But, of course, it's also very late out in Ireland. So, I mean, if she does yeah. show up, great. But, you know, yeah. at least I tried. I guess we're on there. Facebook, though. I'll, I'll get her on my radio show one time or something. Yeah. we got a lot of mutual friends in common. And I'd love to have all you guys on my radio show. It's audio only. 
I can have like two guests at once, I guess. But huh. those are on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an hour. And those reach like Britain and all that shit. Hello from Ontario, Canada. Oh, Canada. Nice. Hi, Sophia. Hello. Sophia. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's an hour show. I mean, we got 20 minutes left. We can go over. You guys, I mean, if you guys want, if I'm not fucking yanking your teeth out, if you guys are having fun. Oh, yeah. I have until um, 7.45 because my, no. my show starts at 8. No, you got to go to 7.50, Dawn. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No, that's fine. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll, Dawn, send me a friend request. I'm not sure if I'm friends with you, and I can get you on. We can talk more one-on-one -on, -one on my radio show. Okay. Um, yeah. Friday I'll or something. That. I love Maybe talking to good people. Right <laughs> Look at I want to, and that's an invite to all of you because it's hard to talk specifically to one person when you get five. So right. that's what the radio shows for. It's kind of you can have a bologna sandwich and listen into one on one conversation. Bologna yeah. sandwiches is a bee's knees. Yeah. Yes. The salt and vinegar chips to boot. Son of a yeah. bitch. <laughs> I would love to have you guys, you guys on my show too. Yes. Anytime, yeah. as you can tell, I love to talk and I got fucking stories up the wazoo. Um, I've stayed in uh, St. Albans Asylum in Radford, Virginia, in the fucking uh, basement where the, the girl got killed. Me and a reverend from at three in the morning talking about life until they kicked us out. Three o'clock, guys. I go, fuck, really? Back to the hotel. That would be interesting to be yeah. with the reverend there. Pretty cool. It was cool. It, uh, yeah, they had the they had the suicide tub. They had the, the tub where they put the ice on the people. That's real shit, the torture tubs. Uh, real quick, and I want to get to Dawn about this. Dawn, you're a big Jaws guy, huh? Yep, it's the movie that inspired me to study film. Uh, this poster was a gift from my dad when I was about uh, 11. So, no shit, groundbreaking. Uh, yep, and, uh, and Tom and I, we've also, I mean, in in addition to paranormal investigating, of course, as you put in my my description, we've also worked on a couple of films together. Yes, we have. So, I want and, to talk uh, about that. Yeah. I know it's getting late, we can go a little bit over, but real quick, uh, Jaws is a bucket list of mine for two reasons. You know the story. Yes. It's about the Jaws attacks in New Jersey in the canal. The kids get eaten there in 1926 or uh, 1916. 16. Yeah, yes. 60. Fuck New Jersey shark right. attacks. I need yep. to get to Martha's Vineyard because the Jaws bridge is there. Um, and that's right in Massachusetts. That's my bucket list. They have the bridge there, the little downtown where the sheriff was. All that shit from the original Jaws as well and uh, as well as um, Jim Belushi. The original Blues Brothers buried there in, in Martha's <laughs> oh, Vineyard. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Where the fuck's okay. my... Oh, yeah. Check it out. So remember, remember Alex, remember Alex Kilster, the fucking kid on the raft where the mother goes, Alex, he died. The yeah. Was kidding her, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> no way. What? <laughs> that is awesome. He still lives oh. in Martha's Vineyard right where he died. I met him at Rock and Shock in Massachusetts last I year. I love it. I got a selfie with him for 30 bucks and an autograph and a fucking selfie. And I fucking shoot him in the nuts. I go, are you kidding me? For 30 bucks, this is a good deal. <laughs> So, yeah, man, that's killer, man. Uh, let's talk about your filming career, guys. Let's talk about that. Are, are the ladies, you guys, into the filming stuff? You guys do that stuff, too? Or is that just kind of Just gone? the guys. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys I'm reading the comments, morning. and I'm like, wow. <laughs> um, Dawn, so no shit. You saw Jaws, and you're like, I got to fucking make a movie. Just like that. Wait, are you talking about? Oh, oh, Don, D O N, Don, not Don. Don. It gets a bit confusing here. You're a movie and but, you're um, at a young age. You're well, like, I can fucking do this, right? I mean, yeah. I'd love to do this. I mean, well, I, yeah, I just love to work, work with film. Ever since I was like five years old, first seeing Jaws, yeah, you know, like I, um, then I, then I like started studying film at that age. I went to school at uh, Western Kentucky University, same school that John Carpenter went to uh, when he, yeah, who went then went on to make Halloween movies and, uh, yeah, and I've, I've just been, you know, studying film for almost 25 years now. And, wow. um, and well, lo long story short, to be, to be, you know, like you guys were talking about abilities, right? Well, um, yeah. thing is, the thing about me, I was born with Asperger's syndrome, and uh, part of it is I have the ability to absorb visual media. So I was studying film. I basically remember any, any film, any, like any topic that I've ever seen or read about. Wow. <laughs> so, you use your like gifts photographic good, memory man. in a way? Pretty much. Yeah. Wow. Me and my buddy are always qu quoting movie fucking quotes like, uh, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. we can't stop here. This is back country. <laughs> I mean, you know, I got to I got to point out, too, for Don, I mean, out of everybody, Don and I, we've known our friendship literally go what goes way back. I mean, we basically have known each other, Don, for well over 50, literally like well over 15 years because we actually met. 
yeah, we actually met at a ghost tour here in Chicago on, on one occasion. And it just seemed like we just became best friends, like very quickly. I mean, yes, the first couple of years, we didn't really stay in touch because of school. And then of course we had other friends that we were hanging out with, but pretty much right around about a year or so, right after when we graduated high school, we didn't go to the same school though. He went to a different one. I went to it. Another, when we, when we, when we both graduated from high school, and of course, after when he was done going to film school down in Kentucky, that's when we started hanging out a lot more frequent. So now our friendship really started you know, like in terms of hanging out and working together going about 2000, what about 2012 done or 2013? Roughly. Yeah. Yeah. So about wow. almost 10 years, but I do want to yeah. show some, I actually do want to show something done. I think you might know what this is, but, right. um, that's why it's visual. Show off your yeah, shit. It, you'll you'll love this. Shit in the back. You'll love this, Adam. But these are pictures. Are probably our earliest hangout. But it's not just your simple. <laughs> it's not just your simple, baby pics. <laughs> but it's not. I was gonna say it's not just your simple. Uh, Bring on them baby pics. <laughs> it's not just a simple hangout, though. It's actually. Um, it's actually we met someone very special, and I think you guys are gonna know who this is very quickly. So let me share the screen for. Just uh, just a quick second. All I right, got a so million is... people going through my mind. Oh, hold on, I can put it on. We put it on. I see what it is. Is that George Romano? Romano. George Romero. George yeah. Romero. Yes, Romero. it is. I. Oh, you fucking bastard! That's you yeah. next to George. That's me. That's that's what? me. At, that is me at sixteen years old. Oh my god! <laughs> the How old was he then? I mean, he was he's pretty old. He's this a legend. Two, this was back in 2009. And, uh, um, I want everybody so, to see it. and then I got what happened. I want everybody to see the picture. You, can you see it? Or, oh, yeah, I had all, I had us all off and I had you on. Okay. So I got, so I got that picture. And then here's, here's Don's picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before the spiked hair. Ah, oh, I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> you can see the excitement in your You're face, so dude. Yeah, yeah we, well, uh, we were super excited when we got to meet him. I, I felt I felt nothing but excitement meeting a legend. Son of a bitch. Dude, you guys get the fucking heart on like I do for this stuff because it's all about it. We lost someone. She'll be back. Yep, oh, there Rosie, she is. Yeah, oh, she'll come her. There she is. Sorry, oh, Rosie. Rosie. Hey, come on. <laughs> yeah, so what was the it? corner petting the bunny. Come back, Rosie. Come I'm back. I'm playing peekaboo, you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I I uh I drove to um Evans City, Pennsylvania last year. <laughs> Jeremy, sorry, I looked at Jeremy's comment. Brace yourselves. Oh, Nick where is looks it? young. Yes, that's when he was uh he morphed into a young child back then. He's really 350. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> John's one of my favorite people's list now officially. His show is pretty awesome. Y'all check it out. Fear fans. Yes, please check out their podcast, Fear Fans, one word. Uh, fear F little ear, big F little ands. Fear fans <laughs> podcast Tuesday, 9 30 p.m. Eastern. I'm gonna check it out now. I'm gonna bomb it and drop a million. Hashtag questions all around. caps fear fans. How about that? <laughs> and it's like oh, babies. Man. I'm like, you confused me. I'm like, what? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. well, I just want I actually wanted to point out quickly when we actually got to see George A. Romero. Oh, originally, shit. you actually had to pay to get a picture with him. I think it was back even back then. Yeah. Uh, of course, obviously, because of you know, because he's he was a legendary director. When we first saw him, the line was just like going all around the convention. So we just came up with um, an idea, which was, you know what? Let's. My dad was with us at the time. He's like, well, let's go see the other horror celebrities, and then right before they end it, we'll walk up to the table right as the line is about to uh, end. Had so, all planned out. And as soon as as soon as there was like two or three people when they were about to be closing up and they were starting to pack things up, that's when we just ran over to the line. Yes. And we were and Don and I were lucky. We were able to get a free picture from him. Both of us got a free picture with him. And my God, he he was such an awesome, nice guy. I mean, honestly, I don't think without ever meeting him in person, at least for me, I would have ever gotten involved in involved in filmmaking. Um, wow, so that's a big tip of the cap. That's a big credit to uh, Mr. Uh, 
Wow. I mean, honestly, dude, that whole town. If you go there, I got if you see it on my profile picture, I'm standing some sign at Evan City, home of the night of the living dead. I'm like, yeah, boy. Uh, Dawn, I know you got to bounce. You got another show because you're a busy chick. Um, I can't thank you enough for joining us. I'm going to message you. Send me a friend request if I'm not yet. And I'd love to have you on my radio show. My, show isn't, my show isn't on until 8. I thought oh. she said 7.45. Earlier, yeah. but I wasn't sure. I was yeah. fixing a messenger and be like, "Hey, you when did your show start? I'm supposed yeah. to know this." Yeah. I thought you said 7:45, but no big deal. I don't care. We're not kicking y'all. I love to have you. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. Um, so, Dawn, uh, l- before we get crazy, and you do have to go, what's your favorite place to go to in, in America? What's your favorite local haunt? Historic it can be historic haunt, alien related. What's your typical non-mall place to go? Graveyard. I. I, I... Well, I really don't have one around me other than the um, Peoria's Illinois State Hospital. Um, Peoria, they, Illinois. They, they, they yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm in Peoria. Yep, Dawn's, I mean. also, Dawn's also in our state, but further down. I That's where Mudvayne's from, yeah. Mudvayne's from really? There. Yeah. Mudvayne, I don't know that. That's old yeah. school. Well, they probably still make music, but I haven't heard I, them in a long time. I used to sing in a metal band, Culling the Herd, for a couple of years, and uh, I'm really into yeah. Slipknot and Mudvayne, and I've Lots seen, of. I've met Slayer and Gore. I've did shots of lead singer Gore. I've been to his grave in Richmond, I've Virginia. Gore. Cool. Gore, I've dude. Seen, I've been I've to the Gore Bar in Virginia, and I had a bloody burger. They're I do. crazy. They're crazy they're as crazy fuck. Yep. They get birth on stage, and they cut off people's heads and shit. Um, his grave is in Hollywood Cemetery in, in Richmond, Virginia. There's two presidents there. There's um, a big, big pyramid, rock pyramid, with 80,000 uh, soldiers buried, half of them from Gettysburg, that died during the Civil War. And then there's the Richmond vampire, W.W. Poole, who's buried there. And uh, shit, man, Where? Virginia's pretty wild. Where's the Richmond vampire? Uh, it's, it's, it's in Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. He came out of a tunnel... Sure. And he had fangs and shit, so they chased him into this tomb and blocked him in and suffocated him in there, and he's been in there ever since. Richmond Cemetery. Oh. Richmond we'll have to look that Richmond up. Vampire, W.W. Pool Gravesite. I got a selfie there. I'm, if you look, I'm, I'm doing that horror there. contest. <laughs> I'm going in front of, the, front of that tomb. I'm trying to do this horror contest where you can meet Kane Hodder and go to the uh, Buffalo Bill House and win money. I'm doing like a uh, vote for me. You get one free vote a day. I'm, I'm in like round four, the six rounds, and I'm making it. I'm getting closer. It's Rosie right the top everything vampire. If you can see it, face of horror, vote for me, guys. <laughs> Everybody watching, I'm fourth place. If I get it's first, real. I'll fucking... It's Kane Hodder played horror. Jason, man, the best Jason Voorhees there is. Yeah, yeah, we've met, again, Don and I, we've met Kane I Hodder, met, and yeah. uh, I know he doesn't do this anymore, but this this was 10 years ago. This was back in the days, like, when you got a picture with them. He would put his hands around your throats. He put a machete to mine. He had a machete. I go, put it to mine. If you look, I'll shit it. But he was like that. I'm going, ah, and I get the mask. Oh, that's it. You're giving me the munchies because I'm an empath and you're smoking. <laughs> I you're love smoking. that. You nice. have local weed, too, and it's only 35 bucks for a five pack. Hi, right. hey, you take me? You get five. Oh. I got one left now. Shit. I got to be careful. I can't get into tomorrow. I'm hungry now. <laughs> yeah, Kane Hodder, when he when I met him, yeah, like the he's not like as tall as depicted in the films, but he seriously he has got the build of a bouncer or a wrestler or something. Oh, and he's a paranormal grip, investigator. The grip that he has when you yeah, shake his hand, you know, that's no joke. This motherfucker killed more people than anybody in screen history. More people than Freddy Krueger and Mike Myers combined. <laughs> some respect. Oh, oh yeah. Um th- that's cool because honestly, dude, paranormal gets me going. Um, the stuff that the girls are into, Dawn and, and and Rosie, like my girlfriend Heather, the witchy stuff, the jewels, oh. the gems, the dowsing rods. You guys do dowsing rods, Dawn? Rosie, yeah. you, guys, you must do yeah. dowsing, yeah. So do Heather I. did them in the uh, Lizzie Borden house. Was, yeah, they're fucking amazing. What's your favorite crystal, girls? Or all of you? You guys have crystals? Um, different ones? I got... I, I like the smoky quartz. Oh, I just you got go all my... You came here, smoke. You go first. Here. I have amethyst and t- I love tiger's eye. Tiger's eye, yes. I like one that I saw this weekend and I had never seen tiger's it before, eye. never heard of it before. And it comes from another country. And one of the ladies that was selling it um, said she has to get like a special like piece of paper giving her like permission to like, I guess, order it from where it comes from. And it was called wow. a, phanta- a phantom something. And she's going to hook me up with one. 
sometime in the future because she lives only three hours away and I'm going to drive there and get one. But I don't. And you got to sign a permission slip, though, <laughs> Rosie? Me? Yeah. I don't know if I own one if I have to. But she has to import it. To, she has Holy to get shit. some kind of like special like permit or something. Your friend Not Jill's much, kind Rosie. of a freak, huh? Huh? Your friend Jill's a freak. Sorry, she's talking about Jason Voorhees. How much? She said you have to tell her what you're comfortable spending and she'll get you a crystal the size of whatever the amount you want to spend. <laughs> I'm just going to say for Jill, uh, if you, if that's what you want, if, if that's what you want from him, you better be ready because that strength around your your neck, it is it is something. <laughs> it's it's not a light grab. It's, it's kind of a lore about this shit. And I think that's why y'all would think Salem. Because it's got polysanto, huh? Yeah. Yes, you know it. Smell, it smells like it. I can't even describe the smell. It's like a cologne, but not sweet wood. Like it's, sweet wood. Is it made in Jerusalem? Is it Jerusalem wood in Israel? That's what I hear. It's cut down and it, it sits for. Three I do years. know it's used a lot in the uh, Hispanic and Latin community, and the um, Catholic community for Catholic blessings and cleansings or whatever catholic priests use that instead of sage like native americans oh. you know or somebody else would use sage mostly but i like both of them i'll use both because some people don't like sage i love it yeah i got some out back here i got some on my ouija board out back my holy water my fucking uh my uh new orleans voodoo doll so what do you guys like let's go around the room what's your go-to for i always like doing offbeat shit uh music what's your go-to for music before an event after an event to get you pumped up Give me a couple bands or a couple things. Fucking Sublime, Slayer, Ma Mariah Carey, Motley Crue. What, what's uh, Dawn with a W? I'm going to circle. We'll start with Dawn. Yeah. We'll start with Dawn and we'll end up with Rosie. I just listen to country. Old school or the new pop shit? You listen to like Willie Nelson, David Allen Co. and like Hank Williams. Willie Nelson. <laughs> I like Patsy Klein. Nice. Patsy Klein. Johnny Cash. Um, yeah, Patsy Klein's old school. That's cool. I like that. Nothing wrong with some old country. Um, Nick, what about you? I see you as like an 80s grunge guy, Nirvana and shit. You know? <laughs> well, I have song, two. Jeremy. Yes. The H U Wolf, Wolf Totem. Um, the Who? The, Wolf Totem. The Who? Excuse me. I, sorry, I got that wrong. Um, They're I Mongolian. Actually have like, I have three different types of music that I often listen to on many occasions. I mean, first off, I am an oldies fan, including, of course, 80s rock. Um, and especially, like, the second one, which is something I actually more associate. To me, I feel like this is, like, the official kind of genre for the paranormal community is um, I, I'm a huge metal fan. Emily, good to see you. Emily Madhouse always checks in. She always wants to get drunk when I'm fucking on the show. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm drinking <laughs> Drink your wine, yes. But Nick, I, I can see that. Of, I can see you in the Lamb of God and maybe even Old Metallica, huh? Shit like that. Yeah, oh, you know what? I I gotta say because oh, what Jill said earlier, saying that I will sing with you. I, just a few weeks ago, I was at the uh, Michigan Paracon, which was an awesome Paracon, by the way. Michigan Dog and Man. I, yep, and um, we uh, when we had the after party, I actually ended. Up, I actually sang um, "Enter Sandman" by Metallica, and when I anytime I sing, it's like. Whenever I perform, if you will, it literally no longer becomes karaoke. It becomes like an actual concert. So it's like, I mean, seriously, I had some of the biggest names actually there watching. I, I love had, it. I had Dave Schrader. I had Jeff Bellinger, Destination Fear. Oh, you Ghost fucking Brothers. did this in front of all them? Yeah, it was like. Bar or something. You're at the Parrot Convention? Oh, my. It was oh, like I got to go to one you and me, right? We'll fucking true. do a duet. We'll do Ozzy and Lita Ford together. Close my <laughs> eyes for me. So, oh, my God. I'll fucking so, do it. Yeah, Don, both Don and I are actually huge. Um, oh, oh, the, the fans. huge oh. Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they're coming, but, um, with, uh, they're coming with Megadeth and that's fucking. Great stuff, though. Five finger death, death, death right. Meditation, chanting music. Do it again, Adam. <laughs> I used to do metal, like I said. People thought I go, you sound like Lamb of God. I used to hang myself with my mic cord. <laughs> I liked it. It was funny. I got it signed by a bunch of bands I opened up for Mushroom Head, Il Nino oh, signed oh, oh. it. It's a real oh, cow skull. That's where he got killed. That's where wow. they shoot him in the head. Man. I used to carry this on stage, and I used to fucking cut myself with it, and I'd bleed and shit. She'd make it into like There's a videos flute. on YouTube calling the herd. It's like a horn <laughs> that you would blow into or something. Yeah. yeah but... Oh, yeah. Ricola. 
Oh my God, em I gotta say this for Emily. I don't like Nickelback. That's my favorite band in the whole world. Oh, I mean, I, I listen. Oh, wait, she my did favorite. mention though. Um, she did mention. Oh, I do listen. I do listen Nickelback. to. Smashing I do listen to Smashing Pumpkins. However, she brought that up, which is another Chicago-based band. Yeah. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. There are a few songs I they listen to. They are Chicago-based. Yep. Yeah, they are. Yep. But don't get me wrong, though, as far as Nickelback goes, I mean, I do was there are a few songs I do like. I'm just not a huge fan. But um, but also, finally, to answer the third group of music, which I'm listening to currently, is, uh, of course, you have to have your holiday music, which includes, obviously, Halloween music. So, like, horror movie theme songs, classic songs, as well as even my audiobook oh my stories. Oh, my God. Oh. Halloween, you say? I never heard of such a holiday. <laughs> I see a mask I buy. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, oh, like shit, Halloween is every day. <laughs> I got this last yep. week, which I thought was cool, real quick for you, Stephen King fans. Carrie. Oh, oh wow. I nice. That. I want the Carrie. I've never seen the Carrie oh, one. It's funny, wise. I have awesome. one, but I've never seen Carrie. I almost bought two for eight bucks a piece. Are you kidding me? I should have. Oh, my God, two. you should have. Fucking dumb. I should have bought one. I sold for 30 Go bucks. Go get it. <laughs> I buy it. I buy it. Carry, dude. Um, so that's cool, Nick. You're kind of all across the board. I guess when it comes with it, I can see you doing that shit. Um, oh, my girl, Heather. She loves her that's ass witch. Um, that sounds familiar. I get to smoke a joint with them. That's funny. Real quick, I keep getting up. We can go over if you want. We're at 8 o'clock, but. Rob Zombie? <laughs> it's kind of, I've met Rob Zombie, too. Oh my god, I'm jealous. Dude, Thank I you. met Rob Zombie and Lewiston on Halloween. I carved pumpkins with him. I got a poster signed by him. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Oh, nice. Acid Witch. I love what it. kind of music is it, though? Like heavy? It's stoner doom metal. It's kind of like slow and drudgy, kind of like. But they're like very like trick or treat. And it's keyboards. It's a four piece band. Like typo keep... negative? It's kind of like typo negative, honestly. It's like slow. Well, you and said that it sounded like how I would describe them, I guess. Oh I like fuck! I gotta send you a link. You're not on Facebook or whatever, but I gotta send you a link. Typo um, negative is the stuff. I met Peter Steele. I'm not trying to brag. I'm fucking oh shitting on. I got his autograph on the wall. There's my autograph of bands I've met. I'll be right back. I've oh, met fucking. Seconds. Yeah, dude. I, I, it's my thing. I'm like you guys. When I love something like warm, I fucked everything up. I'm buzzing now. Um, when you <laughs> love things like that and you have a chance to do it, I got a chance to go to the Night of the Living Dead Cemetery and meet America's first documented serial killer's gravesite, H.H. H. Holmes in Eden, Pennsylvania. Oh, I fucking God. went for it. Oh, I went me for it. I went, you know, oh, a vampire. Oh, dude, I saw a house made of 30,000 tombstones from Union soldiers in Richmond, Virginia. The tombstone house. The walls are all tombstones. The walkways, wow. tombstones. Oh, the awesome. lady lets me. I got a video on my YouTube channel. The lady let me touch it. She goes, "Oh yeah, she's a poor Rican. Is haunted. The white man talked to me in the Is black man real house. Sleep. The tombstone house. Seriously, it's a Facebook page, and it's made out oh. of thirty thousand Union soldiers' graves in Virginia. And she goes, "Touch it. It's cool." And I touched it, and it was all whites, no names. The names were kept to save space and dropped, but the bottom white parts are in the ground were cut off and sold to a guy for like thirty grand or whatever. And he built his house and his walkway and shit out of it in like 1920. <laughs> Don't yeah. tell me that's not fucking. It's all Union Cemetery. It's all in Union soldiers' graves, dude. It's all. It's a. Yeah. It's a Wikipedia page. I would be um, afraid to touch that for some reason. I don't know why. She let me touch it. She's out there with flowers. She goes, "Is nice and cool in summer." I go, "Oh." I touched it. I'm like, "Shit!" I'm touching gravestone house, bro. It, it's, it's all cool. white marble. Oh, you guys like to travel? You do that shit if you get a oh, chance. Yeah. Yeah. If I get a chance, I'm going I'm to. Uh, this one comment for. I gotta get rid uh, of it. I gotta get rid of it. There we go. In um, Illinois, that's really, really haunted. Alton. 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 It's a small town close to Alton. Oh. The whole uh, area is haunted. Is that a suburb of Chicago? It's no. It's actually located down in southern Illinois. It's literally right next to the Mississippi River, so it's pretty close to the Illinois-Missouri border. But it's regarded as one of the most haunted small towns in america i mean literally like every corner of that town is said to be haunted i've been down there wow um, about two about two or three times and, I, and i'll tell you right now because i know from experience it's it's no joke it is really really haunted over halloween um my team it begins with an a and or an e Alyssa or 
My uh, team is renting a uh, bed and breakfast. It's supposed to be really haunted. I'm so jealous. You got to oh, record that. Bed and breakfast that. is dope. Bed and breakfast is the best. Herbie Live or something. <laughs> oh, we will. I'm a toucher and a smeller. I'm like, hey, can I smell your dreadlocks? I got to. I do. I do. <laughs> we, me and Heather, I, I, get a little bit of, I get a little bit of money. I've been homeless for three years, and I came into some money, bought my own place. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go on a trip for the first time in four years. And I took her to Sleepy Hollow, New York, Terrytown for the first time and saw Washington Irving's grave site where the headless horseman roamed. And I'm touching the cobblestone. I'm touching the walls. I don't give a fuck. Come possess me. I got nothing to lose. My whole family's dead. I died myself. I ain't fucking scarred. I'm touching everything to get the vibes off shit. Um, that's killing you guys in the same way. Uh, Dawn, what do you like for music, brother? Me? I, I like... Um, I'm not too picky. Like I listen to just about anything, but mostly I listen to... Uh, Rock, metal, you know, I love the 80s stuff. I love Metallica, ACDC. Let's see, Linkin Park. Ooh. Nirvana. He's a guy that put some heart out. He's killed himself, unfortunately, but uh, a very yes. tormented soul. But oh, yeah. it I came did through a... his music, I think, like Jim Morrison, like Janis Joplin, um, all the way to just uh, Kurt Cobain. These people really feel the, oh. the ones that kill themselves, dude, their music is deep. I yeah, think. Chris Cornell and uh, yeah, like yeah, Chris Cornell. Cornell because they felt uh, too much. Soundgarden. Yeah, I used to be my angel. He's mine. Can't have him. Crown Garden. Huh? He felt too much. That Cornell is every... like mine. Yes, they felt too much. Yes. Yeah. Chris yeah, Cornell like I, like I usually did a, an angel. Yeah, like around the time when uh lead singer when 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 the lead singer Lincoln Park died, uh when like I actually uh, did a reaction video on my channel to uh the music video One More Light, which was like uh, dedicated to him and oh man, that song was just Yeah, oh, it really gets to you. Don, Emily thinks you're a Frank Sinatra type of guy, which is killer. I love Frank. <laughs> no, seriously, with Italian in Chicago, I love Frank. Very man of yep. yep, Italian. That's, We're both that, that's killer. That's you rolled that I area. I do love Frankie. Yeah, Don, 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 are, Don and I are both part Italian, but I'll tell you guys one thing, though. This is something well, I now really don't. Now she's just don't... being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one thing I should actually say when it comes to Frank Sinatra. I don't really talk about this very often. Um, I'm not saying completely. But a couple of years ago, my dad had recently, because again, we're both Frank Sinatra fans too. My dad had recently told me that, not like actually related, but we actually are partially, you can pretty much say very distantly related from him, of Frank Sinatra. I'll fucking take it. I would brag, yeah. Nick. Yeah, Dude, so Frank it's just like, yeah, not by blood, but we do have a, yeah, a distant basically a distant connection to Frank Sinatra. Oh, so love by women, awesome feared by life. men. He was just, he walked into a room, you took off with your girlfriend before he took her home. He was really the fucking man, dude. And he had class, dude. Wow, yeah, that's killer. Um, Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. You already named dropped a couple things like typo negative. I can see you doing that type of shit and that type of negative Rob Zombie uh, type shit. But what's your go-to for music, like girl? That. What's your what's your thing? Are you a little bit, uh, do you have, do you like rap? No one's really mentioned rap. I don't no even have a go-to. I don't have a go-to specifically. Usually I'm like playlist go and then I'm like <laughs> I like everything really I like everything no, that's cool. I like every that's kind of cool. music that there is. You roll with the holidays though. You guys really roll with the holidays. Like, you want to hear the Rob Zombie type shit this time of year? Then Christmas oh, you don't mind oh, hearing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I already have. I got like Dragula and I got a couple of those other awesome oh. songs in my office. Oh, I love that song. Living Dead Girl. Yes, yeah. Dragula's Killer. That's, of course you do, Dawn, with a W. Yeah. It's all about witches. It's all about uh, burning the witches. Of course you Oh, which reminds me of that song real quick. Um, I want to say one song? song. Go ahead. I want to yeah. say one song, okay, though. That's probably one of my favorite songs. Name three or four, ever. Uh, Rosie. It's the Summer Breeze remake by oh. Typo Negative. Summer Breeze, and don't oh, hear the I, I know that one. Two songs. <laughs> I knocked on Peter Steele's door. Hold on a minute. You make me do it now. I wasn't going to. That is so crazy. I knocked on the door of this Ramada hotel when he came with Gold Chamber in 1999 to Lewiston, Maine. And he signed my thing. Oh, wow. He wrote Peter Steele with a zero and a, a circle through the zero. Wow. Oh, wow. Peter Steele. Oh, oh, my God. That is... That's Cold Chamber singer, believe in something strong, Des, and then Johnny Kelly, the keyboardist. And it's a Friendly's ice cream coupon, and I've had it for like 10 years. Um, <laughs> oh, check this out. So, <laughs> I met Rob Zombie. <gasps> wow. Nice. Oh, yeah. Sign the forehead. That's awesome. 
Yeah. yeah. I'm proud crazy. of it, dude. I ain't got no kids. I'm 43 and shit like that. I got Heather, but whatever, man. I got my toys. I'm proud of my shit. And I'm glad you guys are too. You guys, that's why I wanted to get you on because you're all horror type people too, which is killer. Um, this is, this is kind of kicking off the Halloween season for the show. And I want people that are kind of a little bit extra spooky on. So I want to talk about some good shit. And we're going a little bit over. It's 810. You guys get another, we can go to 830, dude, if you guys get time. I'm having fun. Yeah, oh, I'm having fun. I did talk in the broadcast. If I do have to go, you're never welcome back. Because my adult went to work and my teenager is on child duty now, and I have a son that has ADHD, but it's a very extreme case. And I don't know if you can hear the loud thudding noises, but that would be him. <laughs> I don't hear shit. So, no, girl, you're good. If you're going to take off, Rosie, all of you, Dawn, Rosie, any of you that take off, dude, I don't even mind talking about myself. I've done, Lord knows I've done it. So do what you're going to do, and I'd love to have you all on my radio show one at a time. And like I said, we'll talk about that later. Um, so what's y'all scariest encounter in life when it comes to paranormal UFO, Bigfoot? Let's talk about monsters. Have you guys ever ran into Bigfoot or UFO? What's your scariest? There's got to be something. You guys almost get hit by a car, someone die in your family. Like, what's your biggest? Oh, I can't go there. So let's go there. Don't start with me. I got to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Nick, you probably got a couple. Oh, yeah. There's there's two in particular that stand out. One of them actually is a cryptid related um, encounter. Um, for starters, I'm sure you probably know this already, but obviously I, I've studied a lot of cryptids. But one of my biggest ones that I often study really heavily good. is unlike how a lot of people always study Bigfoot all the time. For me, it's the Mothman that I study. I mean, I actually have an entire document of, like, as far as I'm concerned, pretty much almost all of the Mothman signs I could find. And there's still more that I still have to add to the list. Well, Point but, Pleasant, West Virginia. I still yeah, got to get Point there. Pl- I've, been to, I've been to Point Pleasant, West Virginia for the Mothman Festival. We actually went um, in 2016 for the 50th anniversary of the original Mothman signs, which, again, if you haven't, been there it's an awesome event it's a lot of fun um but so you saw the statue you yeah, saw the, we saw the statue. statue you saw the downtown donuts the whole fucking night <laughs> and the bridge the bridge yep, that came down but bridge, did you go to the, the tnt bridge I, I mean TNT? this was it was uh it, it's i'll definitely be back it's it, we were actually supposed to go this year but unfortunately uh for certain reasons we had to uh we had to well not we basically are rescheduling for next year to go Let's but, all go. Let's go. Dawn, Dawn. <laughs> Don't stutter, guys. Dawn, D&D. Dawn, Rosie, Nick. <laughs> D&D and Dynamite. D&D. D&D. <laughs> and I'll bring Heather. And let's I all go to Virginia. Great. And let's go to TNT and bring tents. Are you allowed to camp there, do you think? The tent? I'm not sure if you could camp, but I do know, though, you are able to check out the TNT bunkers. that oh. Because, they're, you know, people are, you know, some people are concerned about. You Legend. Know, trust, I was going to say some people are concerned about trespassing and stuff. From what I can tell you, as far as I'm concerned. You don't have to worry about that. There's no no trespassing signs because a lot of the people are very they accept they really like it when a lot of people come into the uh bunkers and yeah, exactly what uh Emily's saying. Although I will warn you guys, be careful for some of the TNT bunkers because this is gonna sound crazy, but some of the bunkers actually still contain explosives from during World War II. You and they get like, even though it's yes, been, even though it's been almost 80 years. They say they could still blow up. So yeah. make sure you know which ones that you're going into. Bless you. And the other thing, too, about the bunkers is that it's a virtual, it's in, a landmine. It's almost a landmine, yeah. so to speak. It can, oh, it is. It really is because they were used for storage during the hey, days. Hey, you guys, I love you all. I'm going to have to go. I'm sorry. Rosie, you're the best. Oh, Rosie. Uh, Rosie, I'm Rosie. Rosie. Uh, get a hold of Nick. Send me a front request message. I'd love to have you on the talk show, and we'll talk. Thank you, guys. Nice to meet you. Good, Adam and Good, time. Time. Good to meet you. Bye. 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 Rosie. So, um, so, anyways, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's some of those bunkers were used for storage for the explosives back in the days, and of course, obviously, they've been uh, forgotten. So that's the thing. You got to be care- You got to be careful for some, but. The one thing I've noticed when I went into the bunkers is, unfortunately, well, first off, you can't really film live because it really does. It's really far out, so you can't really get a, a connection to do like a live investigation. But if you're when you're in there, your voice literally will not only echo in this place, it will literally bounce back. It will like you can actually feel your like the way how I'm talking right now. <laughs> 
It wow. sounds normal to you guys, but if I was talking the bunkers, it, it's impossible to almost hear what you, what you're even saying because it's right. so it, it's just so hollow. So, um, but but what I was gonna say, getting back to uh, getting back to the encounters, though, I'm sure you probably also know too. We've we've also had a number of we've also been having a, a number of Mothman sightings over here in Chicago as well. Yeah, um, which is out Indiana, Chicago. Yeah, yep. Which over here they've been calling it the uh, the Chicago Phantom or Chicago Mothman. And three years ago, we uh, my my dad and I we were actually passing by uh, Chicago O'Hare Airport. It wasn't wasn't for an investigation. We were just passing by because we were going to uh, a family party. But that was where the most recent among one of the most recent mothman signings occurred so we were just passing by that area and although nothing happened either way on the way there on the way back honestly later this night i mean later that night i had this very bizarre dream that i still can't explain and i honestly think it had something to do with the chicago mothman probably i don't know if it was trying to communicate with me or what but it was, it was just such a different type of dream. And it, it, it exactly, it. it looked exactly how I imagined it was going to, it looked black, kind of dark, either black or dark grayish. It had the bat like wings. The one thing I still remember from this dream, even still now more than anything where it's, where it's red glowing eyes. And, uh, I, I can't really tell if it was trying to communicate or if it was actually trying to scare me or whatever, but I woke up and, I, I don't know what it was. It really scared me. And you know what? When, when Don or it's not Don a fucking the, loon either. <laughs> when one, when one of the Dons here um, starts talking, I, I, I'm going to go grab this. But I actually even made a sketch of what I because because of what I experienced in this dream, I decided to draw it out um, while the memory wow. was still fresh. Holy shit! Man. That's fucking wild, dude, man. I yeah. wow. And then I the, see the Mothman Legacies to me. It's not really that great of a movie, but I do a lot of research on these this creature, just like the Jersey Devil, just yep. like you know the Nain Rouge from Detroit, just like whatever. And something about the Mothman. Ah, there's something about him, man. I tell you, I don't it's know. Different. It, it stands out from a lot of the other cryptids, that's for sure. So. And then, like I said, the, the other encounter, the other scariest encounter I had, this was more of a paranormal encounter. It was actually, see, of course, obviously, I'm more, I'm obviously one of the investigators, these investigators who does not like quoting the term demon a lot. Cause again, oh, yeah, it's overdone. But this was, this was actually a very rare exception because I actually, I didn't participate. I just witnessed it. But, we actually did a residential investigation, and oh, uh, I was well, going to ask you if you guys do that. Yeah, you do we, home cases well, in. That's good. What, be, awesome. what, be, what cool. began as a residential investigation, we only went to this house yeah. twice. This was out in uh, Evanston, <laughs> and we knew that there was there was something there. We didn't want to say it was demonic, but things took a turn for the worse, and I didn't expect this to occur. I actually witnessed an exorcism head on, like Holy right shit, there, boy. It is, you know, people. You know, some people say that's got to be awesome and stuff like that. I, I'm telling, I'm telling you right now. God does not want human eyes to no, see that. No, that it's is like, not of his taking. That is the demons crossing God's. It it is. Woo! I mean, exorcisms. Yep. When you see something like that, it's no joke. And uh, when, I mean, the one wow. thing I still remember from that whole thing was we were. It was performing. We were performing. Well, they were performing it on a. One of the kids that was, I think he was like 20 years old at the time. This was about five years ago. And uh, when we knew that he was possessed, his eyes rolled white. They rolled up white, and then they came back, and they were like a blackish tint. Holy and fuck. That, yeah, that's when I actually started getting scared. Like, I thought, okay, this is – because none of us were priests or had anything to do with the church. We weren't even supposed – we weren't even authorized to do this, so – it was scary not only for what was happening, but it was also it was also becoming a dangerous situation. But you know, I don't know what we did, but we did drive it out. The last thing we ever heard from that family was, um, unfortunately, it looked like we were able to drive out a lot of the other entities from this house because I think there were there were some that were trying to leave, and then there were others that were just being a problem that we were able to remove. You know, they, they moved on to their respective spots, 
but whatever this, this entity is different. Was, yeah, this whatever this entity was somehow stayed behind, and we haven't heard from them since. Again, I don't oh. usually like to say I don't usually like to use that term demonic, but this might be actually really one of the one of the very rare exceptions. I would say I think we actually did have an wow. encounter with a demonic spirit because we see those wow. eyes. When you see those eyes change. Yeah. You don't ever forget something like that. People say it a lot. You're right, Nick. But at the same time, you can't take that away that it is not. Because one in every ten possibly could be a fucking demon. There's a lot of hell Satan. Satan's oh, a yeah. big army, yeah. brother. And um, uh, i got to ask Don something because like, and I know um, we kind of got to get going here in another ten minutes. Um, I guess all of you, really. Do you guys dig like movies based on true stories like with The Conjuring? Um, you know, like... Uh, uh, haunting in Connecticut. You know, you guys like more things that are kind of based that kind of make you think and go, fuck, this is like real scarier than fiction, I think. I love Jason Voorhees. Uh, see? Yep. Yep. That's based That's on a real story in Texas, right? A real house. That's the original one. That um, scared Missouri. people out of theaters. People ran out of theaters. And, and Bond, they did. Bond's really spiritual. I can tell you're really spiritual, which is great. I love, I love my God. Um, shit yep. like this kind of scares me, though, and I'm glad I'm on the side I'm on. I feel like watching these movies almost... Makes me feel happy that I'm kind of more spiritual. Do you agree to that, Don? Oh, I mean, oh, yeah. I watch these take... things yourself. Kitty yeah, cat. I, I never take this up. <laughs> oh, smart man. I always have one around my neck, too. I usually I took a shower earlier, so I took it off. But I usually have it on you. So you see, you guys get your little bit of spiritualism, your little bit of, see, Don, yes, both Don's got one. Nick's got something around his neck, maybe not a cross. But... It's actually, it's not a cross. It's actually, see, I'm also a big fan of, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, so this is actually oh. a Jack Skellington watch. It, but it's still working. a relic of, of yeah. protection. Oh, yep. yeah. <laughs> John, you and me going to do a movie show one day. I'm going to have you on the radio show. We're going to talk movie. I can talk horror movies till the cows come home. We're going to have to have <laughs> you on uh, on Don's show, Fear Fans. That's Anytime, yes. man. I'm pretty open. I door dash, and that's about it. I got no kids. My girlfriend's got a couple kids, but one of them's out of the house. The other one's pretty chill, and she does vodcast. We just do. We just like you guys, man. We just live life like good people do, and just I try to find cool shit instead of sitting on the couch and watching people fucking Netflix and chill. I'll go to uh, where Stephen King shot a movie, or maybe where uh, a vampire's buried, or sure. this mermaid scene all over Maine, dude. Fucking all over Maine, there's mermaids and ghost ships. You can't get enough of it. So right. I sit at the coast and smoke a drink for three hours. What we do? Better than sitting on my couch beating my meat, right? You fucking do it. So I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I forgot I'm on a show. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? Um. So uh, before we go, we got eight minutes left. What do you guys hope to do for the rest of this year or in the future in this field? Do you guys hope to make like write a book, maybe film a documentary, uh, do more house cases, go around the room, start with whoever? Um, what do you guys get to want to get out of the rest of the year and out of two thousand twenty-three? We are right filming, back, actually. We are filming a um, documentary for the whole weekend of. Um, the last weekend of October, Halloween. And um, then, but up until then, we have um, the whole month of October, we have uh, investigations all month, all weekend. All booked and ready weekend. to go. So, but we have not had any investigations really. Oh, cutie. What's but his name? Just now starting to pick up. What's the kitty's name? It's Penny. She's, your... she's 14. She's been with me for years. That's your little spiritual guide, huh? That's your little... Uh, yeah. Your little, every my, little, 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 my little familiar. She's been with me for years. Wow. That's an old timer. That reminds me of uh, church, huh, Dawn? Yeah. <laughs> Dawn, do you, you resort a lot of things to horror movies when it comes to life as a whole? I mean, I feel like even everyday shit, I see people and I'm like, oh, he could be a killer. Or I see certain scenarios, I'm like, well, that could work in a book or a movie like Stephen King kind of does. Do you kind of do that shit too, Don? Yeah, sometimes I analyze things in real life. I just think, well, that, that like... They're like that that scenario could be could be be adapted to film. I think uh, this could be adapted to a book that could become a film. You know, like there's just so like like art imitates life. That's what I strongly believe. That's what King believes. He, you know why he did pet cemetery because his daughter's cat got killed by a truck and he buried it in a pet cemetery with yep. spelt with an S. And and he almost lost his son on that on that road. Hit so, by a truck, right. almost. Yep. Thank so, you. Basically, pet cemetery like just plays out a scenario of uh, what. Could have happened if he had not been fast enough to save them. 
I think Dawn and Nick would agree when it comes to movies or just real life horror, nothing is scarier than real shit like Hostel, like Saw. Or someone can oh, that absolutely. Make you play a game with Chuck and chat to your chin and you're in a basement with no windows. A little bit freakier than being in a dream getting chased by a giant lollipop figure, but that's just who I am. I love my horror, don't get me wrong, but the real life shit sometimes like, really. <laughs> You when know. they adapt realism to film, yeah. Yes. And Dawn is going back, and I wanted, wanted to mention, but my ADD kicked me into gear to talk to, to the other Dawn. Dawn with a W. Um, you, you're booked all through October, and we know why, don't we? Because the veil's very thin, isn't it? It's getting yeah. very thin to the Day of the Dead. You guys all know that. Um, mm -hmm. Halloween fan, heavy metal music fan, horror fan, or even paranormal fan, or witch. Halloween is big for all of us. It's our Christmas, leading to Christmas. It is. Um, and it means yeah. a lot of different people, I think. Um, but yeah, man, like Heather said earlier, y'all going to come to Maine in New England. Anytime you're like, yo, Adam, I want to be in New Hampshire for a week. What can you do for me? I can squeeze in a day for you and be your tour guide. Just buy me lunch and I'm fucking good, dude. We'll go, <laughs> some fucking, we'll go see everything from, uh, I can see Dawn wanted to go see like the, um, the Bewitched statue with Elizabeth Montgomery statue in downtown Salem. Um, the Hawthorne hotel where she stayed, which is built on Bridget Bishop's apple orchard. She was hung as a witch. So Salem, and of course, pirate lore. Uh, mermaids, ghost ships, uh, lighthouses, movie scenes. Salem's loaded with shit, dude. Hocus Pocus everywhere. I went to their sites. <laughs> I went to, um, shoot, not Beverly, Massachusetts. What the hell's the name of it? Marblehead, the cemetery where the guy goes, Hey, man, it's my name's Ice. And the cemetery when he sees the kid in the beginning on the pedal bike, that cemetery is in Massachusetts. It's the third oldest cemetery in America, um, oh. for, for as far as a uh, public, non family. Um, so I'm pretty wild, man. The tombstones there are all macabre, and they get the, you know, uh, here lieth thy deadeth body of Richard Reedeth the thirtieth. It's like, wow, 1649 or whatever. Um, you guys dig that shit. What do you guys stand on history? You guys like that stuff? Good or bad, oh, you gotta, you, yeah. gotta, you gotta know it, right? I mean, I think we learned from it, uh, both Thons and, and Nick. Double D's, definitely. <laughs> I don't know. Don't, I don't uh, want to say it. Um, you, you, you guys feel like I mean, because you know me, I'm a historian, and that's my thing, man. I look for shit that's haunted, but I want to know the backlog of it. I feel like Dawn, being more of a sensitive, probably wants to feel things out. Is that true, Dawn, or do you like to know something going into stuff? Do you kind of like to know the past? Where do you guys all stand on that stuff? Um, I tend to want to know what I'm walking into. Smart. Smart. And, be, and be prepared because I have a really, really gifted intuitive on my team. Um, I'm kind of the backup. Our, our gifts kind of play off of each other. Um, she doesn't want to know, and I want to know. Some are like that. Some want to go. That way you can validate. I'm getting a name, Tim. Yeah, Captain Tim. He hung two of his family members and then shot himself in the living room here if you get drunk off rum in 1833. That's where I come in. You know, I'm the research historian, and then I validate the medium. Um, yeah, so I, I, I want to know. Cases. I want to know ahead of time yeah. so I know how to protect. Smart. How to protect. She, she doesn't want to know because she wants to figure it out. So and validate her. And validate her uh, yeah, abilities. Yeah, validate say. herself. I want to know so I know ahead of time how to protect. Fucking A. So. All right, man. We're coming on an hour and a half. It took a lot of you guys' this time. I would seriously, I said it five times. Oh. I would love to dawn with an O, talk to you about some fucking horror movies for like an hour straight on my talk show. That'd be killer. Yeah, we'd um, love to. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, really quickly, just before Absolutely. we get off, I actually brought the sketch down that I was telling you about. Oh, yes, yeah, show it Normally up. I don't show this very often, and yeah, it's not, do. and again, it may look like other ones, but this is actually what I remember. I'm not the best drawer, but this is I've got a nephew and a niece. I've seen so worse. Go ahead. This is the actual sketch I made for my dream. Oh, oh yeah. shit. There we go. Oh, that's Mothman with the red eyes and the wingspan about 15 feet, standing about six foot five. Yeah, yeah it was about. Six and a half, <gasps> seven feet tall, as I remember. And like I said, I decided to draw while, while the memory was still fresh. Again, I know it, it didn't, the body wasn't actually really square shape. Again, it's just simply because I'm not the best drawer. That's but this is basically cool. as best as I can go. So this I'd is have that actual, on my fridge. Yeah, this is the actual <laughs> sketch. This is actually it. Uh, someone say something. Come and investigate Mothman. You better contact. Nope. Me. Like I said, we're gonna try to come we'll out. Go. Next, we'll have a big fucking festival. We'll year. have a Mothman festival. Um, I people say, and I know Dawn's into this too. Which we gotta, we gotta go. I know we could talk fucking more. But you yeah. guys are about aliens and shit too. People say Mothman's an alien breed, which is pretty fucking wild. There's literally like, what like three thousand Mothmen in the world 
Or there's like universe? so many no. theories on what it could be. They say um, it could be like a, a demon or an alien or a dark angel of some sort. 30 feet. 30 feet sounds yeah. about right, Nick. Someone saying? Uh, Jeremy? Yeah, that was a, uh, I think that was one of the Thunderbird sightings because Thunderbirds. You pretty much say, you can pretty just... much say here in Illinois, like our, we don't really have too much, but we do. I mean, we have, you have the typical Bigfoot sightings, but what, I guess you can kind of say one of our main cryptids that we do have uh, for the entire state of Illinois is the, uh, is the is the Thunderbirds. Pterodactyl, so to speak. Yeah, or the um, pterosaurs. So let's go around the room here. Let's end it up and have a great night. Everybody saying have a great night. Thank you guys for tuning in. Jeremy York, Emily Menhouse, Heather Kim and Needy, everybody in chat. Um, where can people find you guys? Let's plug some shit. Talk about your shows. Talk about your YouTube. Talk about your Facebook. Uh, ladies first. Dawn, where can people find you? Okay. I am on Phoenix Rising Network. Um, my show starts actually in a half an hour. It's Alien Talk. Um, you guys come over and uh, watch my show. Um, oh, that's I have why. I'm on Eastern time. You're on a different time. Early, we thought you had to go, but you were on a different time. Than yeah, us. no, I'm yeah. on. I'm on. Ah, I'm on Central yeah, Standard expensive. Time. All right, we'll and, check that out. Um, for sure, I'll share the link on my page. And I, I start right now. Or oh, I got a. I got people backstage waiting for me. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. So I gotta go. Oh, dude, look at you. Three hours of fucking paranormal talk. <laughs> <laughs> Hardcore Dawn. Love the cat. Thank you for joining us. Um, we're, anybody else? People find you. You on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. I'm, I'm just right now. I'm just on um, Phoenix Rising. Temple of Phoenix Rising. Um, on uh, Facebook. Okay. So, um, love, love you, you too, Joe. Um, hope to see you in there. Awesome. In, Thank you for joining us, Don. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Good night, folks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Way to go, Nick. I essentially was just gonna have Nick and he wanted to bring on these fine folks, so I'm so happy. <laughs> Good to meet you, Don. Good to meet you too. Thank you so much. Okay, so the last Dawn, or the other Dawn, <laughs> what about you, brother? Let's plug some of your shit. Where can people find your good stuff, my friend? You can find all my stuff on uh, YouTube under the name uh, Don Elmi. Last name spelled E-L-M-I. And uh, you'll find me because uh, I with uh, by this. Uh, some... Ooh, what is that little guy? Ooh, what is that a three? A no, seven? It's a letter D. It's D, letter okay. D. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's my emblem. Oh, very cool. But, yeah, I made it years and years ago in my teenage years. And uh yeah, it's uh yeah, it's a red letter D symbol. Yeah, and, and like and uh yeah, you'll find it on the name uh, Don Elmay. I'm so, gonna fucking that, check it out. That's where I have uh, not only the the Fear Fans podcast, but uh, reaction videos where I cover uh all kinds of uh you know, like uh, videos that people like uh, send to me and uh, like mostly like movie trailers and uh, viral videos, music Ooh, videos. I like... love that shit. Yes. Yeah, Real, I, I Real reaction shit. So this is your first time watching it. You record it the first time. You don't watch it. Okay, cool. Real reaction. I love right. that shit because there's some fucking weird shit out there. Some cool shit. That's killer. Um, I got to have a show with you, man. I know it seems like I didn't talk too much, but I want to incorporate everyone. It's hard when you get five guests. And I want to get, I don't want to leave the girls out. So I'm like, ah. So I'll definitely, I, I could see myself talking to you about horror movies and just oh, uh, filmmaking. You guys alone. will have a great time. And I got to say, really yeah. quickly, too, Don, why don't you, because you were talking about Salem earlier, Adam. Don, why, why don't you tell Adam what we're going to be talking about for tonight's episode of Fear Fans? And you guys are on tonight, too? Yep. Yeah, we right, are. Right. 8 30. Right at 8 30 Central. So about just under an hour from now. But okay, I'll buy with those yep. fucking things. It's eight thirty three my time right now. So I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, we are trying to catch coming. that. Oh, what are you guys talking about tonight? We tonight this is episode eleven where we are talking about hocus pocus. Oh, two or one <laughs> or both, or just the whole thing? The, the first one because uh, the movie's coming out. Uh, the sequel is coming out this week, so I thought, yeah, yeah we can just cover the first one. Yeah, See, like what's that. interesting is that he showed me that movie. Now, the funny thing is, I have seen hocus pocus before, but. I actually, the last time I actually saw that movie was, I'm not even, I'm, I'm not even lying or joking. <laughs> I saw it nearly 25 years ago, like back in the late nineties. I hated it when I first saw it. I thought it was so cheesy. I, I'm like, what the fuck is this? I think that was me too. I, love I think it I now. wasn't too crazy about it, but regardless, I hadn't seen it since. I love it. I, I hadn't really seen it since like either October of 1997 or 98 when it was still, you know, at that time still, still relatively brand new. So it was almost, so 
as you could very well imagine, except for one scene out of the entire movie, mostly everything about that movie had been lost to me at a time. So it was very oh. much like watching it for the very first time. Oh, that's kind of a trip, Nick. Isn't yeah. that cool to get to watch it and go, I've seen it, but I don't remember it. Grab some popcorn, grab some Twizzlers, oh whatever. Oh, my God. You can't see it was things. incredible to watch it again. Um, hey, what's your guys' munchies? What's your guys' go-to when you're reviewing a film? You must have – is it popcorn with fucking jalapeno sauce? Like, what do you guys go to? You must have a ritual. I don't, I don't eat during my podcast. <laughs> no, 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 when you watch a movie, like say oh. the screen, like say you're like, oh, yeah. let's big movie tonight. Let's go out to eat and go see a movie. Or if you're gonna watch it at home, hey, I got the DVD of Free from Hell or yeah. Rob Zombie's Devil Region or whatever. Mostly it's just popcorn and a uh, Pepsi or Coke. That's about it. Traditional shit. Yeah, which yeah. is what I like. I kind of like that drive-in feeling where it's the Coke, maybe the Pepsi, the hot dog, the pretzel, the, the popcorn, and you're sitting there watching it. Of course, I get high, and uh, <laughs> I love weird shit like the Lighthouse is killer. I saw that in the theaters. Weird, weird movie. William Defoe is in it. Uh, Defoe. I will not quite like... horror, but yeah, the I guy will... made the witch, the V witch, V V itch, v- black no, the, the the witch. Bit. Yeah, we seen we saw that when that came out. Same director Same made it. the lighthouse. Oh, the witch. Too, I watched yeah. it last night with Black Phillip <laughs> when he spears the father against the logs and he goes Spidey and he fucking gets him. And the logs come down. Yeah. Like Black Phillip's yeah. a fucking man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that that was awesome. Holy fuck, I, I root for the villain sometime because they're so lovable, you know. Yeah. But, oh, man, okay, we've talked long enough. Fucking, they're going to kick me out soon. Um, <laughs> so, okay, uh, Nick, where can people find Oh, John, are you done where people can find you? Did you say everything? Yep. Are you on TikTok, Twitter, or anything like that? You don't do TikTok? I don't do uh, TikTok. I don't. Do, I have a Twitter account, but I don't use it as often as I used to. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. Uh, Brother Nick, the one that fucking led the whole show here. You've been nice and patient for someone uh, that's been the fucking focus, so to speak. Because um, I, I don't really have everybody's name in check. I don't know who's coming on 100%. Um, Nick, what about you, brother? What's your go-to? What's your, uh, what's your thing? <laughs> I'm basically kind of all over the place, to be honest with you. Because, like, for I example, that. my... My show that I do, Nick Files, uh, you could find me on. I, I'm actually one of the owners now of Things Network. I'm also on Temple of Phoenix Rising Entertainment. That's the one that Don uh, Don from Peoria is at. Uh, yep. Skeleton Key Network, BB3 TV, um, RU Media Network, and also um, I, I'm missing one already. No way, no. It's Things Network, Temple of Phoenix Rising Entertainment, Skeleton Key Network, BB3 TV. Uh, are you media network and um oh my god i cannot believe i can't remember the other network. no rush think about uh, it give it a couple seconds it'll, it'll come back to me but while uh while i'm while i'm trying to figure that out um thank you I'm so also, much Jill, for your, you guys your... yeah you guys can also you guys can also find me because in addition to nick files you got you can also find me too as a co-host for don show fear fans i also co- i also basically am now hosting for jeremy york um supernatural talk on thursday nights on things network I'm friends uh, with him now. i send him a friend request yeah i got, oh, I got at some point now. soon see i'm just gonna say at some point soon not now but hopefully sometime next year you definitely have to have jeremy on as a guest because um, i'll definitely i'm I, i'm booked till october uh 31st which is my year anniversary for broadcast and the radio show but november is wide open and it's still great time to talk just because it's thanksgiving time and uh I tell you what, you guys are coming to Maine. There's plenty of places where we can be serial killers. I know plenty of cemeteries and hills and gorges and dams. We're going to make serial killer movies. I'd love to die in one of your movies anytime you want me to. And I wouldn't expect a dime out of it. Just a little bit of recognition. Adam, this is great. Thank you, Emily. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. We try to do a show. I try to just be down to earth and talk to these fucking cats like they're real motherfuckers instead of just fucking pieces of shit or grand pieces or grand golden gods i talk to you guys like i would my friends that's how i feel yep. like. i feel like every time i leave a show i'm friends with the people just came back to, a lot of times no one talks yeah, to me after that, them, just I, came so I don't know maybe it's me but final network we'll just came back again. you're supposed to block me but final network just came back to me packed channel that's what it was what is it the pack oh. channel it's um to make a long, so the packed channel just for a uh, long story short um that's um it's ran by someone by the name of Zach Clayton, who I've become really good friends with. In fact, his wife, Adrian, co-hosts with me on uh, Supernatural Talk. You she also, did. Yeah. But what what the PAC channel is, how it's not necessarily, a, it's not really like a paranormal network like some of these others that I'm a part of. But it's actually a network more for uh, people with disabilities because, believe yeah. it or not, I didn't even tell you this early. And most people get surprised sometimes by this. I'm actually on the autism spectrum. So... It's a network. It is a network wow. that basically allows people with 
disabilities like Asperger's and autism that get to have a chance to host, you know, different types of shows, you know, that kind ADHD of ADHD and severe depression. Yep, I, I think that would that would include that. And even though my show is different, we're all fucked to, up. We're all fucked up, man. The yeah. odds are gonna give us our whole life, Nick. Come on now, we're all underdogs, brother. Yeah, you fucking guys even, a filmmaker and a podcast host. You are look at Don over there smiling. No one thought this guy in middle school is gonna fucking be what he is. Like, this guy's gonna be a yeah. filmmaker. And look at us, man. That's that's not a knock on either of you. That's that's a thing saying that people like us can do this field, dude. You both between both you fucking cats, between the knowledge, the experience, and the wisdom, yeah. fucking Christ's sake. I can go another hour and a half, but they're gonna boot me out. <laughs> oh, hey, real quick, because your hat. I spent a hundred bucks on it. Oh boy, batteries in it, but I bought it today for the other day. <gasps> oh, I love that. It. That's it awesome. Up. It's got the pack on the thing to wear it. I gotta even put the batteries in it. It's got the gun that comes off. I saw your hat, so fucking yeah. I met Dan Aykroyd a couple years ago at a Crystal Skull signing. And oh, I about I raped him. That. I fucking. I'm from Maine, and I've been to the yep. Betty Barney Hill thing, and I saw you on Joe Rogan, and Ghostbusters gave me my life, and Coneheads was good too, and uh, oh, very good. Drive safe back to Maine. You go, oh, can I get a picture? And he's also on the spectrum. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yes, he is. He's also on the spectrum. Oh, really? Most yep. people don't know that, but yeah, he also is on the autism spectrum and believe it or not um for the last wow. year or so i mean we already expect this it's unlikely but we've actually been trying to get him to be a guest on on some of our on at least one of our shows in the things network i mean again it's highly unlikely but we're not we're not giving it up yet it's still but i don't want i at the same time too i don't want to promise anything it would be awesome but i guess it's really just one of those things where you know the familiar familiar term. Only time will tell. All right. Fucking hate you get that tattoo to my forehead. All right, guys, we gotta go. Uh, this will be the hard copy. Will be up tomorrow on my YouTube channel, Historically Haunted. It's on YouTube. Please subscribe. We got like 180 subscribers. Not a lot. That's where all my archive shows go of my radio show. Even though it's audio only, I get the hard copy so you can hear it. And all my vodcasts, so you can see all my past guests. Uh, Chris McCannell, Tony Spera, fucking all my past guests. Um, that's on Historically Haunted Vodcast. That'll be up tomorrow. I'll tag you guys in it when I get it on Facebook. And, of course, it'll be up on Facebook. Um, yeah, man. And you guys can check out my radio show. I'd like to have you guys as guests. Historically Haunted on Paranormal uh, King Radio Network. Your show, it's audio only, but uh, very, very cool, too. Man, you guys are full of knowledge. I could talk another hour and a half, but we got to go. They're kicking me out. I only get so much time a month uh, with this fucking stream yard duckhead thing. Um Oh, you subscribe, but I thank you yeah, so much. Jill, I, I figured she would sub see. I'm just gonna say really quickly because I want to just give a quick shout out for Jill. Um, believe it or not, I was actually the one who tagged her in, in a post for this show so she could not only support us, you but spread the word, spread the word basically. Because she, I mean, she I always loves viewers out, tonight. She always loves to check out a lot of these paranormal talk shows, and of That's course, killer. understandably, she also loves it even more when we're on it. Yes, yeah, so and see, like you know, I'm like I, I, had, guys, I had to bring her into this. No, and I appreciate that you even told me you have a good outreach because every guest brings a new friend, a family member, and I get a couple likes, and then it fades off. But some are hardcore. She, Jill seems like she's hardcore. She's if you great. check out my other channel, Jill, it's all separate words. Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter. That's me going to Stephen King's house. That's me going to the, the Tombstone house, the grave house. I talk about these places, and I go. I've been at where Betty and Barney Hill died, the same house where they lived and were married. I've been to their graves. Wow. I've been, I, yeah, I researched that documentary on, on Shock Docs. It shows their apartment, and it shows the name of the road on it, the yellow apartment building. Google I haven't that. seen that New one Hampshire yet. I've seen the show, but I haven't seen the Betty and Barney Hill case. Yet. I could be a serial killer. I push pause on it, and then you look and you see the road thing, and I fucking Google it, and I go, that's the same house. Let's go. Clink, clink, clink. Couple selfies. An hour and a half drive just for three selfies and a YouTube video. Cocksucker. Then I go home on my own dime. No reason. No one's, no one's backing me. But as you guys know, you got to spend money to make money, and you do what you love, and it's fun, man. And make it, it make it you break is. it, right, Don? Shit, we gotta go. They give me the warning. Hey, Don, Don Elmi, Elmi, yes, and Nick Mula. Ah, Muli. Yeah, yeah, you were close. Muley. It's Mule, but you were close. Though. I want to say Muli, but I'm Italian, and that's kind of like a yeah, bad name. Uh, like. It's actually uh, an Italian name. See, entirely, oh, I'm oh, actually, I'm entirely, I'm part Italian from my dad's side, part Irish from my mom's side, and then Ooh. I actually recently found out too. You're uh, a fighter. We also have a little mix of uh, 
Canadian and French. Oh, you're a fucking mutt, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, seriously, and I'm not bullshitting you guys because I don't fucking need, have the need to. I can tell you guys both to fuck off and not blink twice. I love you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. I'd love to have you on my show and have you one on one, not no, but one on one to talk bullshit for an hour and a half um, <laughs> on my radio show. And then, of course, back on the vodcast when I have some opening. So, um, Nick and Dawn, I'm going to reach out to you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go have a beer and probably pass out. But uh, tomorrow, I'll reach out to you guys with a hard copy and a message and get you guys booked maybe like November or something. Awesome. Yeah, just send, yeah. Just send the word out. And like I said earlier, too, uh, we'll uh, we'll definitely have you on our we'll definitely have you on our show, too. I mean, we're yeah. we're basically the type of show where because, I mean, we we don't I'd just love to. Uh, we're basically the kind of show that, you know, any type of, you know, paranormal show hosts that are watching or something. We'll just we just bring them on and just have, you know. Let them chat with us and hang out with us and have fun. So you know what we're, we're doing we're, now, brother. We're, yeah, we're basically that kind of show where we basically we continue, Don. <laughs> 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 it's the same shit because I don't mind talking about myself, but I love listening. I love I don't know everything. No one fucking does. So I'm a historian of what I've been to. People go, you're a historian. You should know that. I go, I don't fucking know Detroit, asshole. I know the shit that I've been to because I diagnose it. But I don't know every fucking thing. And I love to learn from people that know their shit, whether it's movie trivia, wrestling trivia. I'm a big wrestling fan. Uh, a little bit of football. But for the most part, it's paranormal UFOs, monsters, horror movies, and heavy metal. That's my big five, man. Yep. Yeah. And um, so fucking A. Um, it's been a blast, guys. Shit. We got to go. Um, I'll have the hard copy up tomorrow, you fucking guys. That was, was awesome. Great night. The ladies, too. I know we didn't get uh, Jenny. Sullivan, we'll get her next yeah, time. She's, she's, I think she's just really out because of, of her sickness. We'll get her next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, seriously, you guys are a lot of fun, and we're going to talk more. Get a hold of me. I'll get a hold of you, and we'll talk. So, guys, thank you. We'll see you in two weeks. I'm going to have a spiritual roundtable with a bunch of witches. It's going to be me right. and like five chicks, and that's no shit. That's going to be a good cool wow, one. That's awesome. <laughs> Not like that. Get your mind out of the gutter. But that's in two Tuesdays, and then after that, two Tuesdays after I get America's first serial killer. Uh, uh, his grandson Jeff Mudgett, who did a lot of Jeff stuff Mudgett. in Chicago, the Murder Castle. So yep, uh, it's from really Chicago. Like, yes, follow, subscribe, follow on YouTube, follow these fucking cats on YouTube and Facebook because the underground, us hard workers that do it ourselves, that fund ourselves, these three guys, we're doing it, um, and we're gonna do it. Get on the bandwagon because we're fucking making it. We're doing it on our own. So suck it sideways if you don't like it. His dark the <laughs> vodcast. We're out of here. Say so, good night, guys. Good night. Yeah. See you guys in an hour.